Hello everybody, we are back at it again. My gosh, I can't believe last night. That was insane. Last night was quite the insane, insane hunt. Just like absolutely ridiculous. Excited to uh, jump back into it though. Let's see if we can get another one. Let's see if we can possibly get another one. Yeah, TDV 21 great ones all together. We got another one last night. Well, it's 21 combined, uh, Carson. 21 combined. Or 20 combined. We're going to be going for 21. Going to be going for number 21 today. Yeah, 20 altogether. This will be the 21st one altogether if we can find him. We've been having some crazy luck. What rack was it? It was a drop time rack. It was a gorgeous drop time rack. Oh, the lag. Oh, definitely, Autumn. I'm super excited for it. Hey, Brover, how's it going? Yeah, we switched back to the regular game to try and get another one. Since we got that, uh, since we got that great one last night, might as well try to get another one. And plus, I want to kind of save the moose grinding for, um, and the, just the new map hunting in general for when full release happens. Because I want to do some multiplayer hopping content on the new map, and then I also want to obviously grind for the great one moose. So I'm trying to uh, save all of my uh, New England hunting until full release. So we jumped back on here last night. Uh, you were in here for a little bit though, so you already know that, but yeah, we jumped back onto the main live game and are uh, seeing how many we can get before uh, before 2 a.m. Since uh, 2 a.m. is when the update is probably gonna drop Pacific Standard Time. We're just gonna see how many we can get. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, Kaluk, the release date is less than 24 hours from now, actually. It should release in about 12 hours. 12 to 13 hours, the map will be released. So probably I'm going to spend an hour or two trying to unlock all of the map. And then, uh, the second that... Second that it becomes... Or the second that I get a little bit of sleep and wake up, then we're going to go straight into grinding for some trophies in a multiplayer for a video. And then whenever we start the, stre the stream, the moose grind will begin. Because that level one was in the wrong zone, uh, Philo. It was in the wrong zone. Don't want them there. Do not want the level ones in my main zones. Except for like uh, one of the main ones. Like, for example, in my main zones, I keep two deer. Every other deer in the herd has to be a shootable. And so, like, for a zone that has a doe and four bucks, I would shoot three of the bucks, leave one of them as a one, and then obviously leave the doe. And because uh, number three turned into a one there, that is why we smoked him. Because that's like an extra one that I don't need, you know? Hey, Toxicity, how's it going? Thank you, Morin. I can't believe we hit 80,000. That's insane. Absolute insanity as always. Mr. Viper, thank you for the super chat, dude. And no worries, man. No worries. You have already uh, supported the channel quite a bit, man. Don't worry about it. Really appreciate it. That's a new level one. Yeah, we're getting some random level ones that I don't necessarily want to have. To be honest, though, we might abandon this zone. If it turns into uh, into all level ones, I might abandon it because it is a little bit inconvenient to hunt it. And I would like to maybe use this zone right here that we can uh, use the outpost for. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. 
Maybe we'll change it up a little bit, but it's hard to say. To be honest, I've always liked this zone, so... Probably won't try to turn it into ones. We'll just boop that guy. Hey, Dusky, how's it going, dude? I'm doing great. Mr. Viper with another super chat, dude. Thank you so much. Hope this makes up for it. No worries, dude. It's more than enough. You have been insanely generous. Really appreciate it, dude. Oh my gosh, really, Clay Drew? That would be crazy if you did, man. Hey, Bubbles, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. Mr. Bubbles. Okay, nothing there. And Mr. Viper, thank you so much for the uh, super chat again, dude. I love you. Love you back, dude. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the support. It's going good, Chase. It's going good. Uh, we're going to start the moose grind probably around, like, I'd say noon or 1 p.m. tomorrow, Philo. And uh, we're going to grind all day. We're probably going to be streaming for seven to nine hours, trying to get that great one moose as quick as we can. Mountain lion runs and makes them flee. Our mountain lions always got to be careful. Definitely, Oski. Definitely. Those mountain lions are the worst, man. They are the worst. I, I, I tell you, they are the worst. Glad that they're going to be moved around a little bit with this update, but hard to say how much that'll do. Hey, Dusty, how's it going? Uh, maybe Bushwhacker. I don't know, to be honest. I haven't tried it. It's definitely got a lot of trees, so... I imagine there's probably going to be a decent bit that can be used with tree stands. Uh, no, Cooper. Or Coopinator. It did not get a brand new species. People complained about Blacktail. They didn't have enough time to add a different one, so yeah, it's kind of... Kind of what it is. I uh, know, Viper. I got your super chat. I'm assuming you weren't listening because I did uh, I did read off your super chat. I read off the 20 and the 5. Guessing you probably just missed it. Uh, Jackson, thank you so much for the super chat. Dude, what time does the new map come out in Australia? It'll be the same time across the world, so... Um, exactly like 12 hours from now, Jackson. Whatever it would be 12 hours from now is when it would come out. I'm not really too familiar with, uh... Exactly how many hours difference is between, like, each region. All I know is, uh... 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so... Pretty much exactly 12 hours from now it's coming out. Pretty much exactly 12 hours from now. Thank you for the super chat once again, though. What would happen if they added a Great One Bison? It'd be pretty cool, I think. Great One Bison would be interesting. What rack is the Great One? Uh, the one that we killed last night was a drop tine rack. What's my favorite loading screen? I don't have a favor, man. There's so many that look, that look really good. So many of them look super, super nice. So, I don't really have a favorite. I know, Deer Killer, it is uh, still quite a while. Honestly, I just really wish updates didn't release at 2 a.m. for me. It's so unfortunate. It is what it is, though. Wanting to do a blacktail grind, not sure how to. Blacktail are pretty tough gone fishing. They're in very small zones, so a lot of times they don't really go back to the same spot after you shoot them. So, yeah, I don't really blame you for uh, not knowing how to start it up because even I have trouble with Blacktail Deer. They bounce around so much. So, sadly, I really don't have too many tips I could give you there. Jackson, thank you for another super sticker, dude. Really appreciate it. 
Thank you so much. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that answer helped you out, by the way. How many gigabytes is the update? Uh, to be honest, I didn't look, Max. I always do a fresh install of my game every update to kind of speed up the process because on Steam, when you're downloading Call of the Wild or pretty much any large game like Call of the Wild, Ark Survival Evolved, a lot of times the updates will like stop and start and stutter constantly while they're updating because it's it's taking time to write to the drive, then it's taking time to download more, then writing to the drive again, and it ends up taking longer than it would if I just fresh install, so I always do a fresh install. So to be honest, I didn't look at what the update size is. I imagine it'll probably be at least 20 gigs like normal. A lot of updates are 10 to 20 gigs nowadays for Call of the Wild. And on console, it's probably going to be even larger. Uh, because on Xbox specifically, they have to replace every single file. So it's basically re-downloading the whole game. Nice, Clayton, that's awesome. The update is 12 hours from now, Colton. Uh, West Coast, it's gonna be 2 a.m., Noah. 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, unfortunately. Gotta love those, uh, super early updates. Alright, we got some stubborn deer this time. They are taking their sweet time. Well, let's just keep going in and out and see if they'll get there. Yeah, probably, Lunar. Probably. What do you mean, uh, fishing with TJ? Not quite sure what you mean by that. Okay, these deer are clearly not here. Let's move on. They are really taking their time. Not today, Prime. We got one last night, though. We did get a great one last night, but not today. Hopefully, though, we plan to go for a decent bit. I didn't find a piebald whitetail. Ah, uh, you just shoot whitetail until one of them turns to a piebald. That's basically all there is to it. Zach, I don't have a face. What do you mean? You have a five star moose in Way of the Hunter? Uh, no. I think I've killed a four star, though. Yeah, Ty, exactly. So, getting rares in the game, it's essentially just shooting a lot of that species until one respawns as a rare. So, the more you shoot, more chances you got at rares. Um, another alternative that you can do if you want to get rares is... You can, um... You can try to... Do multiplayer hopping, which is basically, like... If you've got a few locations that you know of that have a lot of animals, right? Like, if you know some hot spots on certain reserves where there's always a lot of animals at a specific time of day. You can sometimes use that to your advantage by just joining um, random multiplayer servers and going to that location on each of them. And sometimes you get lucky and find some rares or diamonds. Uh, no, we have, sh we have not shot a Great One Moose. We have not shot a Great One Moose. I stopped playing the Early Access because I wanted to try and get a... Uh, Another great one, Whitetail, before the update. But uh, we did shoot the Diamond Moose yesterday, because there was a diamond on the map. We did shoot that one, but no great one, sadly. What do I think the next great one will be? I'm hoping for a Blacktail Deer or a Mule Deer, but I'd also love Fallow or either of the Elk. All of those would be pretty amazing. Oh, guys, I got a bunch of uh, content planned for the next couple days. Um, 
Like, aside from videos, I think I've got like five or six YouTube shorts ready to go on different things. I'm gonna have a short of our last great one. There's gonna be a short of a bunch of the like small details and like more, I guess, less noticed and less covered things with this new update because there's a few things that I feel like just have not got the amount of love they deserve. So I decided to dedicate some shorts to a few different things. So I hope you guys are ready for that. Gonna be a lot of YouTube shorts popping up. Which also makes me very happy that now with uh, YouTube they have shorts, videos, and live streams separated in the uh, in the channel. So that is that is a lifesaver. Would never have been able to do this before without it just looking so cluttered. So I'm glad that they did that. Oh my gosh. What's up with the stuttering ever since the last uh, driver update? My gosh. Ever since I updated my uh, graphics drivers. Getting a stutter half the time I shoot. So strange. Didn't make diamond. Uh, Brantley, thank you for becoming a member. Much appreciated. Enjoy all of the perks that come with that, including access to uh, some private Discord channels once you link Discord to YouTube. Access to a, uh, a bunch of different videos for members that are in a members playlist. As well as all of the awesome emotes that come with the membership as well. And Bailey, thank you for the 15 months. Welcome back. Hope you're doing good. Uh, yeah, there is a Way of the Hunter update. It only added, I think it added two new animals, but I think that was about the only super notable thing. And both of the animals are non-antlered ones, just small games, so not too crazy. It fixed a lot of bugs, that's good. I saw some stuff about the multiplayer bugs. Uh, Zyphon, since you've been since you play more Away of the Hunter than I do right now. Or at least keep up to date with him more. Have they fixed the issues with multiplayer, like, enough to where it's playable? Because I've been wanting to do a multiplayer Way of the Hunter video, but it was just so... It was just so rough before that it made it almost impossible to do it. Curious if they've kind of made multiplayer playable. It's better, but the big fix hasn't come yet. Gotcha. Okay. That's unfortunate. Because I've been wanting to... Want, been wanting to do some multiplayer Way of the Hunter stuff. I feel like that game is really going to shine the most in multiplayer. Hey, Brayden, how's it going? How to get the 338? Uh, shoot stuff with rifles and eventually you'll get enough rifle score for it. Pretty much all there is to it. Just gotta get enough rifle score to unlock it and then obviously get the uh, money to purchase it. What are you guys thinking we'll get today? Super rare, great one, a super great one. Kinda feeling like a great one's more likely out of all of them. Because we have not had good luck with super rares. Like, at all. Red Deer were a different story. We had great luck with Red Deer super rares, but White Deer have been rude. Well, we'll definitely get diamonds. We'll definitely get some diamonds today. I think if I were to pick one trophy to get today, it would be a Melanistic Diamond Whitetail. Because I still don't have one. 
I've still never got a melanistic super rare of any species and I really want one. So I'm hoping that I get like a, a decently large melanistic diamond uh, whitetail. That'd be the dream, but there's a diamond. Raise up that diamond count by one. Yeah, they look really good, uh, Young Outdoors. They look pretty good. Definitely one of my favorites as well. What's my favorite species of water? Uh, let's see. My favorite species of water. I mean, Pacific Ocean water is okay. Um, I'd say like uh, Alpine River water is not bad, or Alpine Creek water. Some of the uh, some of the Oregon River water is not bad either. I don't know what my favorite species of water is though. There, there's so many good species of water throughout the world. How many whitetail need zones do I have in total? Uh, 69 of them. And that's not a joke either. I have exactly 69 zones. We're gonna try, McCabe. We're gonna try. What software do I use to stream? I use Streamlabs. What happened with the angler? Uh, just a lot of people waiting for more content and updates to it. I've already played like as much as I could out of the angler. I explored like the entire reserve. Caught all of the species quite a lot. And I'm just waiting for the new map. And there's a couple changes I'd like to see made to the game. Ooh, that's a good three. The threes are popping up. Now let's get this guy to move. Come on, turn for me. Don't make me attempt a risky shot and mess you up. Come on. We wouldn't want that now. You know, whatever. Probably not a good shot, but I don't even care. Oh, we got it. Thank you, James. Hey, Ben, how's it going, dude? Why don't I tax some diamonds? Because I've already got too many diamond whitetail. That's really all it comes down to. I've got too many of them already. As you can imagine, with over 23,000 whitetail kills, I've had quite a few diamonds along the way. And at this point, none of them are going to get put in my lodge unless they're super ridiculously big or wonky looking. So I don't tax them if they're a pretty average looking diamond. If I, if I still had room in my trophy lodges, like if they, if they gave us more slots for trophy lodges, I would totally, uh, tax more of them, but sadly we're limited to 10 lodges between the two, so not super possible to just display all of them. Two sixty three. That's actually kind of low scoring for that rack. Got some pretty tight tip to tip. Not bad. Got trolled by a lion today. Oh no, Cecil. That's not good, dude. That's not good. Sorry to hear that. I stream pretty much every day, James. At this point, I'm doing six live streams a week. Uh, the only day that I really don't stream is Wednesday. However, uh, most likely I will stream this Wednesday because of the update dropping on Tuesday. So, for a while you guys will probably see more streams than normal. Biggest diamond moose that I have shot? Um, it was 307. Unfortunately, they cannot reach 307 anymore from what I've seen. I have not seen a 307 since they changed the score requirements on them. Not to say that they couldn't reach it, but 
Have yet to see one make it ever since they made that change. I'm still blown away at the uh, the picture of the 450 scoring cluster rat great one that somebody sent me. Like that is some absurdity. I didn't think that that rat could reach uh, even 440. Which is why I time and time again say that uh, even though we've seen like the upper limits for a lot of scores. Oh, I'll have to send it to you, Zyphon. It's not a super good picture because it's it was taken vertically on a phone, but it it hundred percent is exactly what he said it was. It's insane. Uh, let me see if I can find you in the Discord. I'll send you the picture of it. It's hard to say if it's legitimate, but even if it's not, that still shows that they can reach that score. So it, it blew me away. It absolutely blew me away when I saw it. You post in the fabled ones a lot, so I should be able to find you there pretty easily. Actually, I think you messaged me recently, right? Oh, wait. I just saw the ping. Oh, there you are. Okay. There we go. All right, like I was saying, the picture is not super good, but it, it definitely shows a uh, cluster rack that's much larger than we've ever seen before. Like, it's absurd just how wonky it looks. Oh my gosh, Mason! This is what I this is what I flip back to. Uh, this is what I flip back to. <laughs> oh my gosh! So this is this is this is what I flip out of Discord to see. Oh my gosh, Mason! <laughs> Thank you so much, dude. Wow! That just every every day for the last three days, man. You are you're crazy. Thank you so much. That is insane. That is insane. My gosh. Thank you, dude. Oh my gosh. That is... That is pure insanity. Oh my gosh. Uh, Zyphon, that was you that messaged me, right? I'm assuming it was. I'm assuming that was you, because I, I just sent the, uh... That was you? Okay, yeah. That is the most absurd great one I've ever seen. Like... I didn't think that that rack could really reach 240 even. So the fact that that one is like an insane 250, that is ridiculous. And this, this is, uh, that's, that's kind of what I was talking about when I was, uh, talking to you a couple weeks ago about true racks. Like, we definitely have some limits that we've seen get reached, but it's not to say that there couldn't be some, like, one-off thing that happens, right? Like, sure, the biggest whitetail diamonds we've seen are 276, but doesn't mean that we couldn't get a 276.5 at some point. Definitely seems like there is some craziness that can happen once in a million times. Uh, yeah, Clay, I can post it in the moderator chat real quickly. That way you can see it. There, I posted it. It's an insane looking deer. Oh 
Well, let's see. 1148. All right, let's change the time. Uh, yeah, we're going for the 21st great one. We're gonna see if we can get it. Um, I don't watch soccer, Cecil. I don't watch it. I don't watch any sports, to be honest. Just not my thing. Um, I posted it in a, in a private chat, uh, James, but I can post it in the main Discord if you'd like as well. I can post it into the Call of the Wild general chat in my Discord. There we go. Just put it in the, uh, just put it in the Call of the Wild general in my Discord. Be sure that if you guys can't see some of the channels, be sure to accept your roles, by the way. Seen a lot of people without roles recently. So be sure to accept your roles if you haven't already. Am I gonna put the Black Bear Great One stats on the screen? Uh, whenever we start the grind for them, Bent, I will. Not gonna do it till I actually start the next grind up for one. Yep, definitely, Justin. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I wonder why Call of the Wild does that. I assume that it's just to save resources when you tab out. But it is very strange to see stuff glitching. Nice, Joshua. That's crazy, dude. That is crazy. But just remember, man, it's not a, it's not my stacking methods. It's just a, it's just a method that quite a few people use, and uh, didn't really show it too much until recently. Herd management and stacking has actually been around for a while. I think uh, iBuy was pretty much the first person to really take it to the extreme. But um, herd management's been around for a while. Jaxie Beard was the original person that discovered it years and years ago, like before trophy lodges were a thing, even. And then it just didn't get really popular until recently. Uh, that's because you didn't listen to what the the messages say when you first enter, Noah. Read, read the rules, read the roles. It'll tell you what to do to see channels. That's why I've got those those channels there available. Is so you can see exactly what you need to do to see the rest of them. Um, no, it's not the rack that I want, Justin. I want the typical looking rack. It looks quite different than that one, but I would not mind getting a cluster rack that looks like that. Like, that is such a cool deer. So insane looking. I would not be mad if I did get one. Even though it's not my number one most wanted. Hey, Kaluk, how's it going? Yeah, it is. It's super unique. I love the unique looking great ones. For the longest time, I always thought that I would be disappointed if I got one that didn't look like normal and nice looking, but the more that I've been hunting for them, the more I want the super weird ones. I like unique looking trophies. Nice, Amy, that's awesome. Five two albinos, a Mela in one week on SRP. Not bad, Eno. Not bad. That is pretty good. Hey Brayden, how's it going, dude? <gasps> oh no, I dropped the dough. That's the last thing I wanted to do. 
Yikes, I just neck shot a doe because I didn't see her sandwiched between the two bucks. Well, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. I hope she doesn't swap with one of my bucks. That would suck. That would not be good. What gun am I using? 300 Magnum. Uh, yeah, Preston, you did get gifted a membership. You know, the fact that some people still mistake me for Flinter blows my mind. How does that happen? I don't sound anything like him. How do you get the 6.5? Uh, with Quattro Colinas. Have I killed a great one? Not today. We have not got one today. I I don't see it, guys. I'm sorry. I, I don't see the resemblances to Flinter. Like, I really don't. We talk suit. We we talk way different. We sound different. We look different. Even like our gameplay looks different. Like I I'm flipping around all the time and like super spastic with my movements. I don't see the resemblances. I mean, maybe like the, uh, the, I guess I could maybe see with, um, kind of like the, uh, like pauses that we take in our sentences. Maybe I could see that being similar, but other than that, I don't know. What is that? <laughs> I need it. Oh my. Hey. Yeah, don't you run. Right. Your responses? I mean, to be fair, though, there's not really too many things you can say to the, you know, same questions, right? What are some skill points you should get? Um, Ethan, I would recommend checking out my uh, new account playthrough. I kind of talked about all the perks and skills that I'd be working towards in that- What? <laughs> 212! Oh my, that thing scores high. That scores super high for this wreck. I've never seen one this wide. That is a crazy buck. I'm gonna tax him, to be honest. That is a freak of a deer. <laughs> Gosh. Tip to tip spread is 35. Overall spread 39. Insane. That is such a weird deer. Did I see the diamond in the Discord? Uh, what diamond in the Discord, Vinok? But I didn't have a face? I don't. I don't. Oh, it's the tripod, Zaxu. If you have tripods, it reduces hunting pressure by an absolute ton. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, exactly, Claire Drew, exactly. Got two decent bucks there. I know, right, Kyle? That's when it gets crazy. Well, to be to be honest, I don't think that's possible because if if the tip to tip is crazier than the inner spread, wouldn't that literally be the same as the overall spread? Because technically that would be the overall spread of it. 
Or is that not how it works? Oh, got you, Vinok. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to look at anything in the Discord, really. Like, I've just been super busy recently. Yeah, Leah's a little grumpy. She's mad. Uh, yes, yeah, Simon, I do. She's like one and a half years old. Five hundred and forty or five hundred and fifty four kills into my first great one whitetail grind. Nice, dude. Nice, Autumn, that's awesome. Hope it's been going good for you. Fastest and best way to make money trying to make money for the moose tomorrow. Um, the best way that I've found is shooting red deer on Tiawaroa. If you get even like a half decent set up for red deer on Tiawaroa, you can kill them so quick and they give so much money. It's actually insane how much cash they give. Hey, Kinsko, how's it going? Where am I going to be hunting the moose? Definitely Medved, I'd say. New England is too spread out. Not a fan of the moose there. So I'm going to be going to Medved for my moose grind. I would do Layton, to be honest, but I've already got such an insane whitetail set up here that I don't want to take it down. Welcome back again, Ben. Welcome back again. How you doing? Holy. When does the new update come out? In about... Like what? Maybe eight hours from now, I believe? Or no, not eight hours. Now it'd be about 12. Between 11 and 12 hours from now. So the update is super, super close. Where's this other deer? I guess we didn't get them as good as I thought we did. Oh well. We need to count down on stream. I mean, I, I could do that. I could do that real quick. Let me let me actually do that. I have a, a program that I can set like timers for any time that I want and add or take away time whenever I need to. Let me just get this set up and I'll do it. Now I'm going to compensate for it by about 30 minutes because typically it's between 2 and 2.30 a.m. But I'm going to say like 3 a.m. just to be safe. All right, let's do a source. Do a quick text one. There. We'll do a little bit of an outline on it as well. 
Make the outline black so that it shows up a little bit better. There we go. All right, now anytime somebody wants to know when the update is, I'll just be like, check the timer. Hey, TDK, we're doing good. Oh, forgot to reload. <laughs> oh my gosh. The fact that we saved that. Insane. Ooh, I gotta make it so the timer doesn't show up on replays and recordings. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Almost forgot. If we had got a great one, that would have annoyed me so bad to have a timer there. So glad I remember that. I uh, know, Mason. We're not streaming till the update. That'd be 12 hours. I'm not doing 12 hours today. No, Kyle. Okay, maybe I need to maybe I need to put some text there as well. Cuz I can already see it's going to cause confusion. Now let's go with that. Good enough, good enough. <laughs> There we go. That will at least, uh, at least do what we need it to, even if it's not the prettiest looking. Hey Blitz, how's it going? Yep, till the update drops. Just under 12 hours till the update drops, provided everything goes to the normal release schedule. Okay, the dough came back. We're good. Wow, five bucks and the two doughs. That's insane. I don't think I've ever seen five bucks there. I mean, I've had four quite often, but... Not too, not too common that we see five in that zone. I'm telling you, smoking a dough sometimes does weird things. I now have just so many, so many things that don't look normal about this zone. Oh, there's three doughs now. Oh gosh. Yeah, oh, oh my gosh, things are all out of whack. What happened? Did a new herd move here? Oh my gosh. So, some of you have been asking why it's so bad to shoot a doe. I, I think this is, a, this is exactly, uh, exactly, uh, one of the scenarios about, like, what can happen sometimes. We accidentally smoked a doe and now there's a new herd here. Like, there's no way this is the same herd. It's gotta be two herds combined now. So, yeah, that's why I don't, that's why I freak out whenever we accidentally hit a doe. Because stuff like that can happen. Now I gotta figure out if this is two herds or if it's just one herd. 
if it's just one herd and we've got a couple extras here, then that's fine. But if it's a new herd, combined with our old herd, that's going to suck. Please say, like, eight. Ah, oh, it says four. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we have two herds here. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. That's not good. Now it's going to be very easy to accidentally shoot a zone down to a solo uh, doe. So, I believe what we're going to do is I'm not going to shoot that level one or any of the does, and I think we should be okay. But yeah, this is, this is like why I don't like smoking does, because that happens. You'll get weird things like that. Uh, Mr. Viper, thank you for the super chat, dude. That was $102 to my favorite streamer. Well, thank you so much, man. Much appreciated. You have been insanely kind. Nice, Blitz. Nice. C dot. Thank you so much for. Wait, what the? Why? Why did that double up? That was interesting. Why did it just double up the uh, the sound effect? But anyway, thank you so much, uh, C docs. Welcome to the Scarecrow, dude. Enjoy all of the uh, member perks that come with that. Including all of the emotes and cool stuff like that. Really appreciate it. That was wild. That was like super loud and just popped out of nowhere. That took me by surprise. <laughs> yeah, definitely Blitz. It definitely sounded like that, even though it wasn't for sure. Oh, Blitz, I can't remember. Were you here last night when we got another great one? We hopped on to continue grinding Whitetail before the update, and like an hour in, we got a big drop time rack. Really wonky dude as well. He was, uh, he was two different shapes of the drop time rack combined. One antler was super tight, the other was like normal looking. Pretty cool. Oh, you didn't get to see it? Man, it was crazy. That was like a 200 and... Like a 230 kill great one. Craziness. Gotcha, Blitz. Well, if you're still doing herd management, I'm sure you'll end up getting it. Uh, Dagan, Kristen, thank you so much for the uh, membership. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Scarecrow. Enjoy all of the awesome perks that come with it, including emotes, access to special Discord channels, and extra content on the channel. Really appreciate it. All right, guys, we're probably going to take an early break. I know it's only been about an hour since we started streaming, but uh, my wife brought up uh, lunch, so like a late lunch. So we're going to go ahead and eat that real quick. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and uh, go to the, the break screen and then we'll be back in a little bit. All right. I promise we'll be back soon, guys.
Well, hello there. Y'all a bunch of nerds, but you're the best nerds ever. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. Don't run away. I'm not being mean, I promise. Not gonna lie, guys. Queso on a... On a hamburger? Pretty good. Pretty insanely good. How many great ones? Uh, none today. But, uh... Yesterday we got one. You'd guess some type of chicken. Well, you were close. You were close. It was a, uh, a hamburger with, well, technically a cheeseburger. It was a cheeseburger with, um, sweet heat pickles, mayonnaise, oh, freezing game, cheese, and, uh, I poured a little bit of queso on top of it, like on the, uh, on top of the patty. It was amazing. It was delicious. It's got a 261 whitetail in Belmont. Nice, Garrett. Nice, too. Uh, what, Chad Vinok? Probably not. Probably didn't see it as I just went to eat and then went straight back to streaming. So I probably didn't see it. Cheesy in a Patrick voice, yes. Oh, just saw one. No visible bucks over there. Nice, Eric. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Killed the absolute wonkiest big rack max weight level three whitetail. Accidentally hit exit with my big behind with my big behind thumb before hitting tax. Oh no, dude. Yeah, you can definitely still save it if you um if you go into the lodge, you can definitely still save it. Okay, so it looks like as long as we leave that level one and also the does, they still come back. Good to know. Or maybe it's that fence rack two we gotta leave. To be honest, I don't know, man. This zone just threw us for a loop with how it just sw swapped around with the killing of one doe. Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it did that. Unfortunate. Yeah, definitely, Preston. That's something that, uh, for a while I had trouble remembering that as well. Nice, Brayden. That is super lucky, man. That is super, super lucky. That is insanely lucky to have happen. Oh, got you, Vin. I got you. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't see any uh, any messages or anything cuz I I just went straight to eating and then came back here. Uh yeah, Jaden it will be. The 60 FPS is coming with this update. A 7 kill great one. That's pretty crazy, man. That's pretty crazy. I don't even have a seven kill great one. I had a couple initial spawns for Whitetail, but did not, uh, didn't have any like actual grinds take less than 80 kills. I think 80 was my quickest full on grind. What the? 
Um, hmm. What are you doing here, sir? <laughs> what the? What is up with that moose? Bro! You drink at 12! What are you doing? It's 11.08. I even just reset the time and he's he's drinking here. It's not even 12 yet, bro. What are you doing, you silly moose? Alright, well, I guess we're main menuing. <laughs> I mean, it tells you in the top left, uh, Trunder. It tells you in the top left when the update is. Oh, oh, definitely, Caitlin. Definitely. <laughs> nice, Brody. That's awesome. That is super awesome. I don't believe so, Joshua. I don't believe so. I've never seen any, at least. Uh, no, Bassmaster, it's on all platforms. Got my great one red deer in a new spot my friend recommended. Nice, Kyle, nice. Nice, I think we got him. Um, whenever the hype kind of dies down for the new update, uh, Senzu, I have two episodes recorded for the new account playthrough, but I'm uh, covering all the other stuff at the moment with the new update. Once things kind of calm down from the new update hype, I will start uploading the new account playthrough again. Because I, I do want to play that all the way through, so there will be more episodes on it for for sure. That's a new level one. You know, I'm still super curious where those like random deer came from that ended up at one of our zones. Like that is so strange. Ooh, that's unfortunate, Eric. That is super unfortunate. Anything special today? A couple diamonds, nothing crazy. Thank you, Brody. Because it's not one of our main ones, uh, Ethan, that was a new level one that we don't want here. Oh, definitely, Kyle. There will be a 60-minute trophy challenge on New England. To be honest, that might be the very first New England video I do a full release. Not sure. We will definitely do a 60 minute trophy challenge episode on the new map though. Regardless of when we do it, we will get it done for sure. So I had to restart my whitetail grind, but use an app that counts all my kills, diamonds, trolls, and rares. Nice, Blitz.
When will I make another guide video? For what, Janelle? Like, uh, is there anything in particular you're looking for? Um, the reason I don't do realistic hunts anymore, G-Man, is because nobody watched them. There was a few people that liked them, but... In the, like, uh, grand scheme of things, they- it, those videos performed so poorly, so... It wasn't worth the amount of time that it took to make them. Because believe it or not, a realistic hunts video that I used to do... The amount of time that went into editing for that series was ridiculous. And then for it to get, like, a fifth of the normal views, it just was not worth the time and effort. Because I got to be smart with my time. I only have uh, a certain amount of time to record if I'm going to be doing the super consistent streams. So I have to focus on series that are a little bit easier to accomplish. Thank you, Logan. How many moose drink zones should I have? I don't know to be honest. I'm not gonna know till I do the grind. Once I do the grind, then I will be able to tell you. Going to leave and unsubscribe. Don't tell me what the update. <laughs> Dusty. How do you not know what the update is? We've been doing content about the update on the channel like crazy recently. And if you're gonna if you're gonna unsubscribe over me not telling you about an update that I've talked about so much on the channel, then at, at that point it's like it's whatever. If you do, then it's whatever. Whitetail Grind How To? I've already done one of those, uh, James. That's a decent one. If you go to my Drop Time Great One video from a little bit over a month ago, I did a guide in that as well. Got a level 5 female Gemsbok? Nice, Waylon. That should be a guaranteed diamond. That's another big three. This is the run of the threes. I can feel it. Is Rancho good for Whitetail? It's decent, Frost. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either, right? It's kind of middle of the road. Rebel on Tuli or Leighton Lake for Whitetail? Uh, whichever one you enjoy more. They're both very good Whitetail maps. Both of them are top-of-the-line Whitetail maps. 271, there we go. Man, we are stacking up the diamonds today, just absolutely slaughtering them. That's four already. That's a three as well. Gosh, it feels so weird having so many deer at this zone. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so as long as we keep this level two fence rack alive, we're good. I gotta be so careful at this zone now, man. Nice, we got him. What happened to that zone? You'll never believe this, Faded. We killed a doe. 
and it did that. <laughs> we killed a doe and an entire new herd appeared at that zone. No joke, we shot a doe and then one of our normal bucks. Next run, brand new herd there. Like, what is going on? This is why, like, myself and I buy premiums and the people that grind, like, super hardcore with herd management, this is why we freak out when we accidentally hit a doe. Because it can do stuff like that. And now I've got two herds there, and I've got to be careful that I don't accidentally delete one of them. It, it just turned this zone into a whole new kind of mess. Yeah, exactly, Faded. Don't shoot the does. This is why we always recommend to not shoot the does. That's a troll. Feels bad. Yeah, don't shoot the solo doe. Don't do it. I already answered you, Dusty. Please listen better. I told you how to find out about the update. We just got one. It looks like just one. There's always one hiding. <laughs> Smoked him. How many whitetail zones should you have on Layton? Between 60 and 75, typically. Welcome back, Clayger. Welcome back. I just have PC, Waylon. I just play on PC. Next run, great one. Hopefully, Dan, hopefully. Uh, yeah, drinking zones, Carter. I have between 60, or you'll, you'll typically have between 60 and uh, 75. I personally have 69 of them. I know some people that have a little bit less, some that have a little bit more. How many diamonds do I have? Just under 2,000 in total, uh, Waylon. How many zones am I grinding? We're down to about 15. Maybe a little bit less. I haven't done an exact count. Uh, I guess I could do a quick count. We got two there. Three. Four. Five. Uh, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Okay, we have eleven zones. That's what I hunt. Eleven zones. And the rest of my map is all level 1s. What did I start Call of the Wild on? I've always played it on PC. I've played PC since I was like 16 years old. To be honest, I was even younger than that, but... So I've, I've always done all the games on PC for the most part. The last console I owned was a PS2. And that was a while ago. Well... Actually, me and uh, me and my brother had an Xbox 360 back when those were still like super popular. That's an albino. That's an albino. Oh my gosh! I think it's is that a super rare? Guys, this might be the super rare. This might be the super rare. Those tines looked extra tall. Oh no! Wait, I don't think it is. No, it's not. Ah. I saw those massive tines sticking up and I thought it was a small rack, but then I saw the fronts and then nope. Nope. Not a super rare, but still awesome. Oh, it's a piebald. You. It's a piebald. <laughs> Dude, I swear, through the brush, it looked like an albino. Only the white parts of it were showing. <laughs> I mean, I got played, Clay Drew. I thought it was an albino. I thought it was a big albino. It's a big piebald still. That's still a good looking deer. 
As long as it's above like 210, then I'm pretty happy with it. Gosh, I thought it was going to be something better though. I'm still happy though. Oh. And there he is. 217. It's a good looking piebald though. That's still a good looking one. Slightly wonky, but not too much. Very good looking buck. Oh gosh, I just realized I forgot to turn the thing that says till update off so that it's not going to show up on recordings. Now it's going to show up on that highlight. Oh gosh, good thing it'll just be a YouTube short anyway. Hey Caden, we just got ourselves a, uh, a beautiful piebald. I thought it was something better though, like I thought it was an albino super rare. Because I saw the top of the tines and they looked really long. And all I could see was like the white on its body through the reeds and I thought we had a, an albino super rare for a second, but... Sadly, no. That's- why couldn't you have been the piebald? Like... Come on, man. Give me a break here. Nice, Austin, that's awesome. Hey, Flat Pop, how you doing? Come on, you had to turn. The deer are just being... They're being silly today. Super silly. Beautiful. What time does the update come out in the UK? It'll be the same place, it'll be the same time for everybody no matter where you live, Dave. So the uh, timer in the top left of the screen is the exact uh, countdown for when the update will drop for everybody. 264. Another diamond white tail down. Uh, yeah, B for it will. It'll be all platforms. Let's kill the great one, or, or I already read that. Um, Jordan, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing great, Jordan. Hope you're doing great. There is a 102 moose zones on Medved. That's quite a few. Definitely less than, uh, less than the new map, though. Is that another pie, maybe? I can't tell. I don't think so. No, that's not. Just looked like it from the angle. I'm getting tricked a lot today, guys. Boop. Well, guys, I gotta tab out for a second and check something. All right, guys, give me two seconds.
Just had something really weird happen. Yeah, I don't know what just happened. I just randomly got sent like a dollar through PayPal and I don't have my PayPal out anywhere. Like there's nobody that would be able to. So it's just, it's just, it's catching me off guard. It's like, what just happened? Strange. I, I don't think my account's uh, at risk though. I think it should be fine. Cause if I'm not mistaken, don't people just have to have your email to send you stuff on PayPal? I'm pretty sure they just have to have your email that is linked to it. But it's just it's just strange. It's like where where did that come from? But just in case something weird's happening, I'm gonna real quickly just reset my password and stuff. So give me like two seconds, guys. All right, got that all uh, sorted out. Just changed my password and did two-step authenticator. So should be good if it was something weird. I don't think it was, but just 
Better safe than sorry, right? I feel like that's always the best, uh, best thing to do. Always to be more safe than sorry, right? Just messed up a piebald. Oh no, Kyle, that's not good. Yeah, I think that was, I think that did mean fun, Ben. I think that is what it meant. <laughs> I don't think that was intended to be uh, what it looked like. You missed two gold elk today? Unfortunate, James. That's a good three. Again, not a rare though. Uh, not too much, Kyle. Nothing crazy has happened. We got a pie ball. I don't know if you saw that one or not. That's an extra one. Okay, we did get him. That's diamond potential as well. Nice. <laughs> Dan, that is one of the most interesting typos I think I've ever seen. I'm assuming that was supposed to say piebald? All right, later, Bailey. Thank you for watching. Okay, now the herds are separated. Okay, we can actually see what's in each herd now. So we got two shootable bucks there. Okay, yeah, so as long as we leave the fence rack alive and as long as we leave the all the does alive, we'll be good. Oh, man. So glad that we've been able to actually see what's in the herd now. I'm so glad that they separated right there. That helps out so much. I at least know uh, what not to shoot. That is massive. So we just don't shoot the two or the does and we're good. Or I mean the, the fence rack two in particular. But these other four, we can just boop them. That's awesome. Let's go get the diamond. Hey, Blakester, how's it going, man? Hope you are doing great. Best map to Whitetail Grind on? It's between Revon Tuli and Layton. They're both really, really good. 257, another Diamond Whitetail on the counter. How many of your great one Whitetail have been on Layton? Um, all of them except for three. So I've had 11 on Layton and three on Rancho. Uh, yeah, potato you can. I've done it on red deer. Um, I've done it on black bear. There's a lot of people that have done it on a lot of different species, so... You just have to change, like, uh, which ones you leave and which ones you kill, depending on what levels those species typically spawn in at. Uh, yeah, Faded. If you're talking about the, uh, restaurant, not a big fan of it. I went to Chipotle once and got sick, so... That's been my only experience with Chipotle, is just getting extremely sick after eating there. <laughs> so, eh, never, never went back. Uh, last night, Allison, we got a great one last night. Yeah, for real, Necron, for real. 
Ever messed up a great one? No, but I came very close to doing so recently. I uh, was trying to hip fire a great one and it was being stubborn, so I ran at it. I snuck up to about 25, 30 meters and then just bum rushed it. And like right as I took the shot, it moved. Like I got to, ooh, another big three. Like I, I practically barrel stuffed the thing. I was almost touching it. I shot it from one meter away because I had ran at it and it moved right as I shot. It was almost messed up, but we got the shot into it a split second before it had darted off. Yeah, Ben, we did. We got 80k overnight, actually. It was actually while I was, uh, while I was sleeping that we got it. Crazy. Thank you, guys. Thank you all so much. Holy 273. Another beast of a diamond. Kind of a 50-50 rack as well. That's a good one. I know, right, Blitz? <laughs> that poor great one didn't know what hit him, to be honest. Definitely took him by a uh, surprise. Oh no, Kyle. I don't I don't think I was. I just noticed something weird happened where I um I don't have I don't share my like uh email address that's linked with my PayPal to anybody. And I just randomly got uh somebody sent me a dollar. And so I was like, "Wait a second. That's kind of weird. Just in case, I'll go reset everything." Though it's probably nothing. I don't think it means that it was like compromised at all, but it was just weird because I don't I don't share my like PayPal info with anybody. So it was just very strange. I'm curious if maybe it was from like, I occasionally buy stuff off of eBay, so I'm wondering if maybe, like, one of the sellers refunded me a dollar for the delayed shipping time or something. That's the only thing I can think of. Because, like, on PayPal, it came up as a business. Like, it showed up as a business, so... I'm assuming it was something that I bought for bought from in the past and they maybe were refunding something for delayed shipping or something like that. That's all I can think of. Mr. Viper, thank you for the super chat, dude. Super generous again. I know this ain't really related to Call Wild, but at the start of the year I was 270 pounds. Right now I'm only 190 down 80 pounds in 11 months. Really proud. That is awesome, man. That is super awesome. That is really good. Congratulations on that. Like that that really is like a massive accomplishment. That is super good, dude. I imagine that after all that you probably feel a lot better as well. Uh Justin, thank you for the super chat as well. Thank you to both of you. eBay car parts. No, not eBay car parts, but eBay stuff. I do a lot of, like, uh, collecting, so I get stuff off of eBay a decent bit whenever I see good deals. Always been super into, like, collecting things that have, like, um... Uh, I don't know, like, a historical type of value, right? I've always been super into collecting, like, currency and coins and stamps that are from the 1800s. Always had a big fascination with, like, stuff from the 1800s. And so sometimes off of eBay, I'll get some if I find some good deals on things. Yes, Pokemon cards as well, Blitz. I do get Pokemon cards off of there too. I've always found that uh, having any type of collection, regardless of what it is, it's a great pastime. And it's typically good for the future as well. Most types of collections will hold, like, value in the future. So not only is it fun, but it's good for the future as well. Yeah, I've got tons of sports cards as well, James. I got a bunch of uh, football cards. I've got some 
baseball and hockey cards, but primarily football cards and uh, primarily football cards and Pokemon cards. Eric, thank you so much for the super sticker. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing fantastically. Thank you once again. What map am I currently in? This is Leighton Lakes. Nice, Blitz. That's a good one, too. I mean, I always say, like, some of the best things that you can collect in terms of, like, stuff that's going to hold its value over time is always stuff like, um, like you were saying, like, Gemstones, those are great. Any type of jewelry is good to collect because it will hold value provided it's like um, authentic silver and gold and stuff like that. Uh, coins are a phenomenal thing to collect because they will always gain value over time. Pretty much no matter what, especially if they're silver or gold. It's always smart to collect that type of stuff. And like I was saying, it also gives you something else to do in your free time. Nice, Cade. Yeah, I've I've always had a fascination with old coins, like, ever since I was, like, 12 years old. Ever since I was 12 years old, I really wanted to, like, collect a ton of coins from the 1800s and, like, the early 1900s. And unfortunately, back then when I was a kid, obviously it wasn't super... It wasn't super attainable to get a lot of the coins that I wanted. Justin, thank you so much for the super chat again. Was thinking about ordering a set of OG Bakugan off eBay and restarting my collection. Nice, dude. Do it. Do it, dude. That would be pretty awesome. Thank you for the super chat once again, man. And Eric, thank you for the super chat. You got a pie, great one. Pixar, it didn't happen, Eric. Pixar, it didn't happen. But thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it, dude. Uh, not sure, Clayton. Probably a few hours at the minimum. Uh, no, Hunter22, if you take a look at the timer in the top left, that's how long until the update drops. And that is when we will get the brand new Moose Great one. Ooh, nice, Cade. That is awesome. Uh, let me see. That would be a large scent, right? I believe that was back before the, uh, they switched over to the small scent. Those ones are pretty cool. I think, um, some of my favorites when it comes to, like, the super old, like, uh, coins. I always was a big fan of the Indian Head Penny and the Flying Eagle Penny. Both of those are very cool if you haven't seen them before. Like, they just don't make... They just don't make modern money as cool looking as it used to be. It used to look so much nicer. What is up with ours... Dude, there's more bucks in our zones than normal. Again. Huh? Ah, the fish. I'm guessing some from here respawned over here? I don't know what's going on. Definitely, Kate. Oh, yeah, Blitz, the, the Roman coins are awesome. I have a Roman coin from a couple thousand years ago. And they're not worth as much as you would think, though. It's crazy. Like, they're actually not worth a ton. Unless they're in, like, pristine condition. Oh, definitely, Blitz. They definitely are. They were just built different, just like cars nowadays. Yeah, definitely, Alco. Definitely. As time goes on, they just make everything cheaper, I swear. They make it cheaper and charge more. But I guess, to be honest, when you adjust it for... When, it, when the pricing's adjusted for, like, how things have changed over the years and like the average cost of everything it comes down to be about the same 
But uh, it certainly feels like it gets more expensive all the time. That's a diamond potential. Should probably reload first. Definitely, Dan, definitely. I agree. Holy, smoked him. Nice, Luca, that's awesome. I remember when I was like 10, 10 or 11 years old, I had a metal detector as well. I always had fun with it. Um, Eric, thank you so much for another super chat. Really appreciate it, dude. Really appreciate it. Yeah, absolute legend. Okay, this one ran a long ways. Um, not gonna track it, I don't think. Uh, yeah, nice man. We've got a few diamonds today. I would say go for it, Kyle, if you want to. It can be quite fun, and to be honest, even like uh, getting into coin collecting and stuff, it can be it can be pretty affordable. You don't have to start with like the super old, expensive things, right? Like uh, you can start just by collecting like all of the state quarters or all of the state parks quarters. Like, there's a lot of ways that you can start getting into it. One way that I always used to... Ooh, nice, that's a diamond. One thing that I used to do when I was little, you know, when I was about, like, 14 or 15 years old, what I would do to add to my collection is I would go to banks, and I would purchase just, like, rolls of coins. And then go through them. Anything that I wanted to keep, I would keep, and then I could just take the rest of them back and turn it back into cash, you know? It's a good way to, like, start a collection without having to spend too much money. And you can have quite a bit of fun searching through them. Sometimes you get lucky and find something that's pretty old or pretty valuable, so it can be uh, kind of fun to do. Eric, thank you for another super sticker. Dude, much appreciated, man. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, Kyle. <laughs> Gosh, I remember when Rancher used to be the easiest for Whitetail. Then they made so many changes that made it not easy, or not as easy. And now Layton is way better than it used to be. Uh, just the base game, nice man. I've had it since the game released, so back then they didn't have any type of bundles or anything. But all, all versions of the game are essentially the same. The only difference is uh, stuff like the 2019 edition, 2020, 21, 22. Like, all of them come with DLC bundled with it. Um, if you don't have one of those, you just buy the DLC separately. But uh, it's still the same game. Uh, yeah, 122 for sure, man. It's a... Uh, in my opinion, Call of the Wild is, it's definitely easier on PC, I'd say. So if you're getting a PC, definitely get Call of the Wild there. Keyboard and mouse is typically a lot easier to aim with. And trust me, you'll enjoy it, I think. I think you will enjoy it. You got it on PS4? Yeah, and I mean, even if you do get it on PC, right, you'll still have your progress on PS4, so you can always go back to 
Uh, play on PS4 if you don't like it on PC. You can typically get Call of the Wild for really cheap. In fact, if you're if you're looking to get it for PC Hunter 22, I recommend going to G2A and just buying a game key off of there. The site is 100% trusted. I bought all of my keys for um, giveaways off of there, as well as a lot of games for myself. It's essentially just a place where people can sell their uh, keys for the game. And you can get it for a lot cheaper because what a lot of people will do is they'll buy Call of the Wild when it's on sale. And so then they can sell it on G2A for a lot cheaper. So I definitely recommend getting your uh, game off of there. You can probably get it for less than $5. Yeah, that was a giant buck. 274 minimum is pretty crazy. Not gonna lie, I didn't even look at it. I didn't even look that it was 274 minimum. I was so busy replying that I didn't even realize. What are you gonna score? Ah, it baited us. 274. <laughs> he baited us, man. Uh, yeah, 122, it is a website. Literally minimum. Literally the minimum estimate it ended up scoring. You know, we have been taxing everything 274 and above, but we've been getting a lot of 274s recently, so I don't think we're going to tax them anymore. I think it's time we reserve the taxidermizing for 275 plus and super wonky dudes. So as painful as it is to see, except... It hurts, but I gotta do it. I don't have room for them in my lodge. Couple small males there. Yeah, I wish it was a 275 plus. I thought it might be after you guys were pointing out it's a score estimate, but... Sadly, he just didn't quite make it. Oh, that was a freeze. Okay, we still got him. Just drinking zones, Barrett. That's all the drinking zones. There is a lot more zones than people realize for a lot of animals. Whitetail are just very good at hiding. So a lot of times, like, you may go through your map, you know, like 20 or 30 times and miss a zone or two still. What ducks are on the new map? Greenwing Teal, Mallard, and Goldeneye. Nice, James. Hope uh, the saving goes well for you. Uh, check the top left of the screen, Callie. That is when the uh, update releases. It releases at the end of that timer. Hmm, they're not there. Also, just a heads up, guys. Because this is something that does happen a lot of the times with updates. It does... There is occasional times where the update may go live an hour or two later on console because it takes a little bit longer to release it. It doesn't happen every time, but sometimes it is like a couple hours later. So just keep that in mind if you don't see it at the same time that uh, it pops up on uh, PC. Sometimes the consoles take a couple hours extra to get everything pushed out. So just keep that in mind. It shouldn't be more than a couple hours later though. Hey Cucumber, how's it going? Nice, Luca, that's awesome. That is pretty awesome to hear. Little doe there. Be at school all day tomorrow anyway, so exact hour doesn't matter to me. Perfect, Lunar. Perfect. <laughs> uh, probably not Destin, no. 
Probably not. I don't have that much time in the day, you know. I got other stuff I need to do as well. But we're gonna go for a while. Probably a few more hours at least. It's universal, Madman. EW doesn't base it off time zone. Whenever they release an update for Call of the Wild, everybody gets it at the exact same time regardless of what time it is for you. So like for me, it's going to release at 2 a.m. And uh, for people on the East Coast, it'll be 5 a.m. Because when it's 2 a.m. here, it's 5 a.m. there. So yeah, it'll it's basically they just push it out to everybody the exact same time. So it's going to be a different hour depending on where you live. These zones are being stubborn. What's going on? Oh, definitely, Kyle. Definitely. Yeah, this is uh, unfortunate. They're just being very stubborn. Um, I used to watch him, nice man. I used to watch him when he did Call of Duty content. Have not really watched him since he started up on like uh, Fortnite and Minecraft, but back when I was like, you know, 15, 16, 17 years old, I used to watch him. That was back when he was doing like Black Ops 2 content mainly. Thank you, Wes. We don't have any on the map, uh, Christopher. We got one to spawn last night, but we killed it the second it spawned. Yeah, it's a good game, Kyle. I just don't really watch content on it. Hey, Andrew, how's it going, dude? Uh, no, Brayden, they're not being reset. I already tested it when we were on early access. They did not reset them. Uh, to be honest, the way that I find what are my best grindable zones, Brandon, is just based off of their reliability as I'm doing herd management. So, for example, I decided on my final zones based off of how consistent the respawns were and also how wide open the area is. So. If it was a super wide open zone that doesn't have a bunch of trees around it and the respawns always came back super consistently, those ended up being the ones that I kept as my main zones. But I tried to turn all the brushy zones into level ones. The same with zones that just didn't consistently have the same deer each time I went through there. And you'll kind of figure that type of stuff out as you grind. The more you hunt your zones, the more you'll see little changes in them and the more you'll find out which ones are consistent. Diamond Whitetail again. All about just getting to know your zones and figuring out which ones are the most reliable ones for you. Great one fallow? I would love a great one fallow. It's in my top five for most wanted great ones for sure. Um, yeah, Blitz, I used to watch him. I don't really get a lot of time to watch content, so I don't spend a lot of time watching, like, fishing and hunting content. As I, I do so much Call of the Wild content myself. Most of my, like, free time when I watch videos is, like, other channels, like, uh, Moist Critical and people like that. Churdly's. I watch a lot of, like, the funny, the funny type of content, right? How do you get so many tents and tripods? Anybody can have this many, Lucas. Uh, the limit is 16 tents and 32 tripods. And you just earn the money by playing the game. Like, doing grinds like this will earn you a ton of money for buying them. Uh, no, Dan, I don't watch uh, KG. Only seen a couple of his videos before, though, so... Not really too familiar with what he normally does. Uh, no, I see. There is no pre-ordering with Call of the Wild. It's kind of just like whenever it releases, you can buy it then. They'd, they've never really done, like, uh, pre-sales. 
At least as far as I'm aware of. Oh yeah, I've seen uh, Smitty Nicholas. Um, primarily when I've seen him through watching Jericho. I I always have loved watching Jericho's content on like Counter Strike and GeoGuessr and stuff like that. Jericho's hilarious, and he he's played with Smitty a decent bit, so I've seen some of Smitty's stuff. Nice, Brandon. That's awesome, dude. Glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, Jake. Same. Like, when I was playing Way of the Hunter a decent bit, for a while I, I had forgot how much I loved the grinding aspect of Call of the Wild. And to be honest, I'm so happy that Way of the Hunter and Call of the Wild are quite different games. Like, I, I love that they're so different, that way... Like, neither of them being a thing will hurt the other game, right? Like, they're not trying to steal each other's light, they're very different experiences, which I love. Any tips for Call of the Wild? Um, hunt near water is a big one. Hunting near water will drastically increase the amount of animals you find. Uh, no, Fierce, we're not. We're not streaming till the update. Oh, that's unfortunate, Bot Nation. Um, maybe you could try it on a different map? Those are both diamond potential. That's what I would say, if you're- if you've got your herds kind of messed up from just hunting them without using like a, a herd management method or something, maybe try a different map? Um, Rev on Thule, Leighton, and Rancho are all solid whitetail maps. So really any of them- any of them will end up being pretty good, so maybe you could hunt the one that you've hunted the least? Uh, sometimes, Melissa, but like I was saying, I don't really watch too much Call of the Wild content. I try to make most of Kill Clinton's streams whenever I'm able to, but... And same with Flinter's streams, but I, I don't get too much time to watch Call of the Wild content, and... In a lot of cases, I don't really have the desire to watch a lot of Call of the Wild content, since I'm already making my own content. By the time I finish with streaming for the day and recording for the day, I'm kind of all Call of the Wilded out. Doesn't want to restart the grind? Got you, bot. Yeah, that's understandable. Well, if you want to, if you want to, oh my gosh, there's so many. This is a run of threes. This is uh, the most threes we've had all day in one run. All right, should be good. Sign of a new great one? Maybe. I'm hoping that this will mean we'll get a super rare. Seeing tons of threes means if we do get a rare to spawn, higher chance that it'll be a three? That's what I'm most excited about with seeing so many threes. Maybe this will give us a decent chance at a super. Uh, yeah, Cole, quite a bit. We've got 11 diamonds so far. Might be raising it up even more now. Because these two threes, at least one of them looked good. Couple we can smoke there. Nope, didn't make it. What about this other one? Hey, 261. Oh my god. That's a weird one. He's so wide, but I think I have one that's wider. That's a big one, though. That's big for that small rack. Like, for the small rack, that's huge. Yeah, that's herd management for you, Alco. It's crazy. Herd management really drastically increases the diamonds. 
to an insane level. Holy. Uh, it was this map, CV. We actually got it at this lake that we're currently at. This zone that I just fast traveled to is where we shot our great one last night. Is there a new Call of the Wild every year? Uh, no, TJ. Call of the Wild just gets updated all the time. It's the same game. They just give it updates to make the game better. Nice, G-Man. Those are always cool. I love the twisty ones. What's my favorite gun for grinding whitetail? I use the 300 Magnum because it kills them super fast because it is a bit too big for them. If you want to get the full like metal score, like make sure that you're shooting them with the right gun, obviously. I use the 300 just because it's quicker, but if you want to get full score, the 308 is really good. That zone's being late. Gotta love it. Um, yeah, with the, um, with the DLCs, Flat Pop, the tree stands and tripods are bundled together, and then the tents and ground blinds are bundled together, and if you're on console, you get the tents for free, as well as the ATV. It's kind of strange, I don't know why they made it so that console gets free tents and free ATV. On PC, we had to buy the DLC in order to get access to them, so... It's a little strange that they did it that way. I feel like maybe it was because of the fact that it took so long to get Call of the Wild on console. Maybe they were doing it as some type of compensation. Because people complained on PC so much that the tents weren't free. Like, there were so many complaints that it wasn't a part of the base game. Well, not free. T no, the tents themselves aren't free, but the DLC isn't a thing on uh, console, Lucas. Like, when you're... No, no, no that, that's not what I'm talking about, guys. You don't... It's not that the tents in-game are free. It's the fact that you don't have to purchase a DLC to get access to tents. That's what I'm saying. Like, you don't have to purchase the DLC to get them. On PC, it's a separate DLC that we have to buy to get access to them. Which is unfortunate. On PC, it's a $3 DLC to get tents. I don't think so, Dweezil. I think it was the same price. How much is Call of the Wild on console right now? How many tents are on my map? 16, the Pioneer. 16 currently. 30 bucks? What is it on PC? Hold on, let me check. You guys actually might be right. It might be more expensive on console. That That's crazy if that's the case. Yeah, it's 20 bucks on Steam. Wow. $20 on Steam. However, I guess it was 30 when it first released. It was 25 or 30 when it first released, so they've lowered it over time. 
But yeah, that's crazy. But like I said, we have to pay for the ATVs and we also we also have to pay for the um, tents so it evens out. Yeah, because the ATV is $4, tents and ground blinds are $4, so it comes out to be about the same if we want all the same content. Uh, Justin, thank you for the super chat, dude. Call the Wild is on Game Pass. True, it is on Game Pass. Almost forgot about that. That is true. Game Pass is great, man. Game Pass has a lot of the, like, cross-platform games, so I've, I've used Game Pass before for PC. To play, like, the cross-platform Xbox games. Pretty sweet. Gotcha, Dweezil. Okay. I was always curious about that. It's definitely not $20 per DLC on Xbox, man. I can tell you that. I don't know where you've been buying them, but they shouldn't be $20. Oh, really, Faith? I didn't know that. I didn't know that Game Pass made them cheaper. That's kind of cool. I didn't realize that. DLC is like $8. Yeah, I was going to say, there's no way it's 20 Somebody said in the chat that it was $20 for a DLC on Xbox, and I'm like, no? That, that, that can't be right. I've seen the DLC pricing on Xbox. Maybe it's maybe they're talking in a different currency. Because I suppose, depending on your currency, it's going to be a little bit different. Yeah, that's crazy, Faith. I didn't know that. That's awesome. I guess that's just one of the many benefits of Game Pass. It's honestly a pretty, pretty good little uh, subscription service. If you buy a lot of games and uh, want to play a lot of games without having to buy them, it's definitely a good deal. Got you, Alco. Got you. And I noticed that Steam also has more sales than than console does on the game. Like, PC gets so many sales for the DLC in Call of the Wild. It seems like every month there's a new sale going on. And they even go up to like 75% off for a lot of the older DLCs. What is my favorite map? I like Tiawaroa the best. Uh, not sure. Oh, you were saying the Angler. Yeah, I played the Angler. I like the game. I'm just waiting for the new map to release. I think the Angler is pretty fun. I know a lot of people didn't like it, but despite all the problems it has, I still enjoyed it. Like. Even though it's definitely not the best fishing game when it comes to the actual fishing mechanics, I have never had more fun on a fishing game. Mainly because of the multiplayer. The multiplayer made it so much fun. I had a blast playing with friends. Like hopping on there with uh, Brobra and Kill Clinton and my wife. My gosh, that was a fun time. That was an insanely fun time. Oh, we did it. We hit too high. Hopefully that'll get it. Uh, it depends on what you want to get out of it, Christopher. Like, if you just enjoy hunting around, 
If you enjoy a map where you're gonna see a lot of different animals in beautiful scenery, it's definitely the place to go. If you're looking to... If you're expecting New England to be like a great one grinding map, then it's definitely not gonna be that from what I've seen. So it depends on what your playstyle is. If you just want to have fun hunting and just want to hunt around, not really grind super hard, then it's going to be a fun map for that. But if you're looking to grind like Great One Moose on New England, it's probably not going to be the best map for that. But the map is gorgeous and it's got a lot of, uh, it's got a lot of fun species on it. I personally th think that uh, New England is going to be a very fun map for like multiplayer trophy hunting. I can see it being an awesome multiplayer hopping map. Uh, yeah, bot, go for it. To be honest, I start my grind the second I find a zone. I never wait to find them. You can start shooting your deer at any time. Um, I'm not 100% sure, CV. I believe it's just threes and above. Or like the... If I remember right, Caribou's difficult. You have to do like the, the big threes and leave the small threes. It's kind of a con, uh, little more confusing herd management. Uh, maybe, Lavish. I'm going to try my best to do that. Got four reindeer trolls today. Unfortunate, Sam. Unfortunate. Um, I've already done that, Melissa. We took a great one red deer with the 243 pistol. Oh no, Justin, I've done that before. Those gray mountain lions trick you, man. They they've tricked me many times. Why not on new map? Because there is over 150 moose zones. Drink zones, that is. There's over 150 moose drink zones on New England. And that's not a good thing for grinders. That's why I don't recommend it as a grinding map. Uh, yeah, Chris, go for it. It's just to get your level 1s quicker, Preston. It's just to get the level 1s quicker for herd management. That's a big three. Big male. Yeah, exactly, Blitz. That's the way I see it, too. Like, it's going to be great for multiplayer. Not a good grinding map, but a very good multiplayer hopping map. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, uh, Eli. I'm going to do the same. Medved is where I'm going to be going. Medved is amazing for them. It's herd management, Chris. That's really all it comes down to is herd management. Because essentially with herd management, you're greatly skewing the odds in your favor of getting diamonds. So the chances of a super rare increase because of that. Uh, yeah, Haven, I will be. Or Haven, I will be streaming tomorrow. Nice, Mason. Hope it goes well for you. Three hundred Magnum comes with Yukon, Sonny. Yeah, Lil Z, I do. Could one of the members or moderators drop the uh, command for herd management? Uh, 
Ah, uh, no, Henny. Sa sadly, I've not got a great one, Bear. I had really bad luck grinding the bear. So, sadly, did not get it. I only see this guy here. Yeah, it's the only shootable there. Oh, no, Eli, that's unfortunate. Yeah, James, we're just looking for a great one right now. Seeing if we can get another before the update. Since once the update drops, I'm probably not going to be grinding Whitetail for a while. We're probably going to be focused on Moose for at least a month or two. Nice, Sam, that's awesome. What is the first great one, Moose, I'm hoping for? I would love a Fabled Birch with the big Al... Or not Albino. With the big uh, non-typical rack. I almost said the Albino rack. <laughs> that's not a thing. The big non-typical rack on Fabled Birch is my dream moose trophy. Uh, yeah, Chris, at some point we will return to the bear grind. After we get a moose, though. Gotta get a couple of the moose, and then we will probably do a bear grind. Because it feels, um... It just feels weird not having one. It's like the only great one currently in the game that I don't have. Uh, yes, Seth, you definitely can. It's just that herd management makes it go a little bit more smoothly. Nice, Preston. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome. Opinion on cream soda? It is delicious, Justin. But you know what's even better than cream soda? Dr. Pepper cream soda. One of the greatest sodas I've ever had. Dr. Pepper cream soda is fire. I try not to drink like uh, sugary sodas anymore, but whenever I did, that was my favorite. Definitely not, Christian. Definitely not. <laughs> I gotta rest myself a little bit for the update. Favorite great one? Currently the great one, Whitetail, but I think the moose will become my favorite. Three shootables there. Wow. That's a big three. Yeah, it is, guys. Dr. Pepper cream soda is amazing. Yeah, Justin, definitely. There's a lot of sodas that I've always loved. There's quite a few of them that I've always thought were quite good. We need squirrels and dove. Definitely, Eli. Definitely. Yeah, exactly, Caitlin. Doesn't matter if you call it pop or soda. It's the same thing. You could call it a soft drink for all I care. Five forty-seven. Yeah, Coca-Cola is good. You call it beer? <laughs> well, of course you do, Caitlin. Of course you do.
What do I think is better for Moose, Yukon, or Medved? Definitely Medved. Thank you, Sonny. I appreciate that. Nice, Landon. That's awesome. Congratulations. Oh, we missed it. No. Got him. He thought he could get away. Uh, no CDs. You can start your grind at whatever amount of zones you have. Why is Medved better for Moose? Uh, it's wide open. There's no water to cross because it's all ice. There's less Moose in the brush. There's a lot of areas where they're super condensed and very highly populated. Overall, Medved's just better in a lot of different ways. Uh, it depends, Levi. I typically try to make it the zones that have at least five of them. Biggest factor is just zones that are in the open, though. Or areas where there's a bunch of zones close together. Already, gosh, you silly deer. No, Riley, I'm not. The countdown is just to let you guys know when the update is, it's not my stream time or anything. Am I excited for Christmas? Of course, man. Of course. Super excited for it. Best animal to grind? Well, for what? Like, what are you trying to grind them for? Best animal to grind is going to depend on what your, like, purpose of grinding them is. Levi, thank you for becoming a member of the Scarecrew. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all of the perks that come with that, including the uh, awesome emotes that you can use on the channel, access to private Discord channels, and access to extra content on the channel via a uh, member's playlist. Okay, what's going on here? Come on. Pop a pet your zone. Silly deer. Three of them trolled. Oh no, Jake, that's unfortunate. Well, at least you got a decent amount of fives, right? Even if some of them did troll you. What is my favorite? I'm assuming you're saying like type of Great One Moose? My favorite type of Great One Moose? I really want the Fabled Birch with the giant non-typical antlers. That'd be so cool. Nice, Levi Warlord. Well, should be around like four or five member videos. So a lot of them are the Hunter Classic, but there's also a Way of the Hunter video built or uh, mixed in there as well. Essentially what I do is anytime that I have a video prepared and then I can't upload it for one reason or another 
it gets made into a member video because I still want I still want people to be able to see it but there may be some times where it's not relevant to be like released to the public I'm not well the only thing you can really do Christian is just go through all your zones and start grinding using herd management that's really the only way to switch to herd management is to start grinding your zones with herd management as you hunt with herd management things are gonna move around anyways so you can really start it at any time just uh, as you're going through just start using the um, the things that you would be using with herd management, right? Like leaving level ones, shooting twos, uh, stacking threes in zones that you like. You really can do it at any point in your grind. Wired versus wireless. I've always preferred wired just because it tends to have slightly higher response times. And I don't have to worry about like charging batteries or anything then. So I've always gone with wired headsets, wired mice, keyboards. I've always been pretty big on getting the best like uh, response time and performance that I possibly can though, so that's probably why. I'm pretty sure that started when I used to play Counter-Strike a lot. Because I was always like worried about um, losing a, a gunfight because of a slightly lower response time. I was like super, super paranoid about that. That's a three. Beautiful. Oh wow, that's wild, Justin. I wonder why. That's crazy. Wonder what the reasoning is. Three oh eight or thirty out six? Uh three oh eight. Didn't make it, barely trolled, feels bad. Gosh, we've had a lot of diamonds and a lot of trolls today. Maybe chance. Uh, I'd say down the line it's possible, but I, I wouldn't expect it anytime super soon. What's my favorite gun? Uh, the 308. But I also like the 6.5, the 303, the 300 Magnum. Like, they're all good for different reasons. What the level one? All right, then One of them's getting booped one of them is new What do I think about the 223 I despise that gun Weakest most underpowered gun in the entire game. I Don't know why they made it so weak. It's way weaker than a real one. That's for sure. Um, it was never going to be a thing, Bob White. When that was said on stream, it wasn't, um, Jaxie was reading off the wrong list, so there is no greater kudu. There never was going to be greater kudu. Ah, that sounds about right, Landon. Rares are difficult, man. On my whitetail grind, I had a couple times where it took over a thousand to get a rare. They're much uh, less predictable than diamonds and great ones. Rares just kind of happen who knows when. They just kind of pop out of nowhere.
Yep, the old intro music has kicked on. That means we gotta be getting a great one, right? Gotta get a great one with the uh, intro music going. I moved. <laughs> oh, the way he died was hilarious. That belly flop was something else. Oh my. I don't know what I just watched. Is Lucky still alive? Yeah, he is. Yeah, I don't know how we got that shot off, guys. That was crazy. No, Destiny, the counter's just to tell you when the update is. It's not my stream time at all. Oh no, there's two fence racks now. Which one is which? I don't know which one is from which herd. Gonna have to be extra careful now. I don't know which one is which. Man. Uh, Justin, thank you for the super chat, dude. What is Lucky meant to ask earlier last night? Oh, Lucky is a piebald on our map. So essentially, Lucky spawned, and then later the later in the day when we got Lucky to spawn on the map, two great ones spawned in one stream, and so we left Lucky alive because of that, because we we felt like he was our lucky piebald, right? The second that he spawned on the map, we got two great ones in the same day. And so we've left him alive ever since. You definitely did, Blitz. You definitely did. I need one of them to turn to a one, to be honest. Lucky for sure. And that's why he gets to live. Ah, oh, I didn't make it. Unfortunate. What do you mean fence racks? The super tiny level twos that just stick straight out to the sides with their antlers. We call those fence racks because they look like a half fence, like a half broken fence. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of, uh, trolls. You know what? Let me have the honor real quick. Don't come into my chat spamming like that, please. Would really appreciate it. Not gonna get you your, uh, question answered, I'll tell you that. <laughs> ah, no, Nathan. No great ones this stream, sadly. We got one last stream, though. Not this stream, though. Unfortunately. What do you mean, Abdullah? This is how I enjoy the game. The enjoyment for me is finding the trophy that I'm looking for. Everybody's got different play styles. There's nothing wrong with playing casually or playing like it's real hunting, but this is how I enjoy the game. I'm a trophy hunter. I'm looking for great ones. I'm looking for super rares. Q 
curious, uh, Abdullah, how do you play the game? And also, what is- what's wrong with playing the game like this, huh? What is wrong with playing the game the most efficient and fast way you possibly could? Is the rattle antler lure useful? Uh, for fallow deer and reindeer and caribou, yes, it can be. Yep, 10 hours till update. We're super close. Super, super close. When's the next live stream? It'll be tomorrow at probably between 12 and 1 p.m. Pacific, or 12 a, or no, yeah, 12 and 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, it's not- it's not to make the Great Ones spawn, yeah. It's not gonna- shooting the twos alone isn't what makes Great Ones spawn, right? Shooting only the twos and doing herd management to get all of your map to be ones, it just makes the grind more smooth because there's less places you have to grind and you'll get more diamonds in the process. Um, we don't really know for sure if it makes the Great Ones spawn quicker. It seems like it might, but there's really no confirmation on that. How many gigabytes is the update? Not sure, to be honest. I, I didn't take a look at it when I was on early access. Because I just reinstall the whole game every update. What gun do I use to shoot the whitetail? I use the 300 Magnum, JD. And for the ones that I want to get full score on, I will use the 308. Yeah, Blaze, we did. We got a drop time great one last night. Find it hilarious how the second I ask uh, that person to tell me why it's uh, wrong to play like this and ask for uh, why why they think it's bad. No reply. No reply. Gotta love it. Do you like New England? It's a cool map. I think it's a gorgeous map. And I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun like fox hunting and stuff like that on it. Could be a pretty awesome whitetail map as well. Yeah, exactly. That's what I always say. Exactly, Nathan. Exactly. I don't understand why other people are so worried about how somebody is playing the game when... This game can be played in so many ways and still be enjoyed by everybody. Call of the Wild's got to be the only hunting game out there where you can play it super hardcore sweaty like this and just blast 120 whitetail an hour. Or you can play casually and just walk around and shoot what you see and still have fun. Like, Call of the Wild's really the only hunting game that has successfully been able to do that. I mean, Way of the Hunter, you can do it too, but it's not to the same extent as Call of the Wild. Call of the Wild really gives you insane versatility in how you play the game. Want to kill a Diamond Moose and that's aggressive? Oh, that'd be sick, man. That would be sick. Exactly, Alco. Exactly. And I am very huge on... Everybody playing the way that makes them have the most fun. Except for cheating. Don't cheat, kids. Don't cheat. It's not good. But play however you want to have fun as long as you're not cheating. If you're cheating, then please no. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Will. And I do actually really... Believe it or not, a lot of people don't know this. At least a lot of... A lot of people that are somewhat new to the channel probably don't really know this about me, but I have a lot of fun just wandering around multiplayer. And seeing what I can find, a lot of times I'll just run around multiplayer and pick up tracks. 
until I find like a, a heavyweight track or a track with a rare fur type and then I'll try to chase it down. Like, I don't always grind. I grind during live streams because I feel like it's the most exciting to watch because there's constant action, stuff is always getting shot, and plus I enjoy doing the grinding live, that way you guys know for a fact that I'm uh, legitimate and that I get all of my kills, and that I'm not like uh, just getting great ones instantly right, which is why I stream the grinding parts, but I do enjoy just wandering around and just hunting stuff too. Not everything the crow does is grinding based. I mean, we're doing that uh, beginner series on the channel right now, and I love that series. I'm having so much fun with it. Uh, no, Trey, we're not streaming till the update. Can you check on Lucky? Uh, well, he should be in here. He might have already ran away. Get two to three deer each run out of the six lakes. Is that good? Um, I mean, there's not really any way for me to tell you if it's good, right? Because I don't know what your, uh, I don't know what your map looks like. Will it be a full game update? Uh, yeah, Destiny. It's going to come with a ton of stuff. It's going to be a pretty big update. Lots of new features happening. Lots of new features, a brand new map. It's going to be a pretty sizable update. Uh, don't fishing with TJ. That's not good. Don't do that. <laughs> don't fake being sick. It's never going to end well. I can tell you that. And I can tell you from experience when I was a kid, uh, TJ, 99 times out of 100, it will not work. 99 times out of 100, your parents will know that you're faking being sick. They just know. <laughs> it's not gonna... In, in most cases, it's not gonna work, and I don't recommend it anyway, because it's dishonest. So, don't do it. Most parents can see right through it, and not worth it anyway, because it is super dishonest, in my opinion. Two forty seven. Wow, that was a big one. Okay. Okay, we figured it out. Um, this is the fence rack two we can kill. Oh, perfect. So this is one herd. This is the other herd over here. We need to kill this guy. Wow, these herds have actually been very cooperative with uh, separating so that we can actually see which one is which. That's nice. Oh, sounds about right, Vinok. <laughs> that sounds about right, man. I was homeschooled, so I never really had to fake school, but... When I was a kid, there was times that I tried to fake being sick so I wouldn't have to go to the dentist. And uh, it never worked. My mom always knew. She always knew. Nice, Axton. It was easy back in the 90s. It was probably different back then, yeah. I was born in 98, so I didn't really get to be uh, alive in too much of the 90s. <laughs> yeah, Ben. <laughs> yeah, I always hated going to the dentist. And I still hate it because the last time I went to the dentist, they really messed up my teeth. So, I don't think I've told you guys this before, but the last dentist that I had made a pretty massive mistake 
with my front teeth. So when I was younger, I broke one of my uh, front teeth from a bike accident. And so I had to get a root canal done on it. They had to do a root canal on the tooth that I broke. And so they did that and they told me, okay, so it looks like the tooth next to it is probably going to need a root canal as well. So that it doesn't die because of the other tooth dying and being broken. So we're going to have to do a root canal on the other one. And so I was like, all right. It is what it is. We'll do that as well. Next time I go into the dentist to get a cleaning, I had a different dentist, right? They had, ch they had changed dentists there. He saw it on there and he was like, uh, it says you need a root canal, but I'm just going to remove that because it looks like you're fine. It doesn't seem like you need it. Well, guess what? A couple of years later, I 100% needed it because that tooth just chipped out of nowhere. Like that tooth and the one with the root canal, like behind, in the back of them, it just broke. Out of nowhere. And so now because of that, I've got a hole in the back of the tooth. It's not really visible. Like, if you were to look at me, like, head on, you wouldn't really see it, but the back side of the teeth have a piece broken out of them now. All because my dentist screwed up super bad and told me I didn't need to get another root canal. And because of that, my teeth are now just forever messed up. It's really annoying. And not to mention, the last time I got fillings from that dentist, I, ever since I got the fillings, I have permanent, like, sensitivity to heat and cold in those teeth now. It's just absurd, like... How do you mess up that bad on multiple occasions? Like, honestly, it, it, it annoyed me quite, quite a lot. Still does. What map do I plan on doing the, the Great One Moose Grind on? I'm going to be doing Medved most likely. It seems like it's going to be the most manageable map for uh, Great One Grinding. Brober must have been your dentist? Wow. Poor Brober, getting roasted and he's not even here. He's not even here and he's getting roasted. Is it expensive to fix teeth in the US? Uh, most of the time insurance covers a lot of it, but it depends on what insurance you have. Sometimes it's cheaper, sometimes it's more expensive, depending on the insurance that you have, and, and obviously, like, what type of work you need done on your teeth. Tips for a new player. I recommend watching my uh, new account playthrough, uh, Mine Women Club. Highly recommend that playthrough. It's going to teach you a lot of stuff about the game. I tried to pack that playthrough with as much... Um, with as much, like, information that could be helpful as possible, so... Definitely recommend checking that series out. I think we've posted three episodes at this point, and I plan to post more within the next couple weeks. I definitely think it could be very helpful for you. What do you mean, yell? I didn't yell, squirrel. No, it's accurate, Brett. They, um, they released the update at the same time across the world, so it's going to be a different time depending on your time zone, right? But uh, it will be 10 hours from now, approximately. Probably nine and a half, to be honest. I compensated a little bit. It is an accurate countdown. EW doesn't release them at different times. They don't, like, uh, release... Like, let's say they do, like, a midnight release. It's not going to be midnight for everybody. They just drop it across all platforms at once and across all like uh, countries at once so it'll be at a different time for everybody which kind of simplifies it with the timer because I know for a fact it's going to release at a uh, approximately 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for me so depending on where you live it'll be whatever time is equivalent to that I live in Oregon, Nathan. I live in good old Oregon. 40 diamond red deer. Nice, dude. Nice. Uh, no, Axton. I've got other stuff that I need to do in the meantime, but we're going to be grinding for a little bit longer. 
at least a couple hours. Do it, Cyan, do it. Oh, that's unfortunate, Kathy. Unfortunate. Uh, yeah, Justin, I did. I did turn it off. I got all of the uh, stuff set up to where it shouldn't show up if I record. Uh, no, Nathan. You want most of your zones to be all ones and then just a few of your zones to be twos and above. How many animals in total do I think I've killed? Well, my codex says about like 57,500 or something like that from what I remember. But there's also been at least a few thousand that I didn't claim because they were too far away or I didn't hit vital. So I probably killed around 65,000 in total, maybe a bit more even. Because there's definitely a, a decent bit of red deer and whitetail that I've not claimed because they just did not get hit vitally. How excited am I for the moose grind? Super excited, Nathan. I think it's gonna be fun. Uh, none at the moment, Austin. We don't have any great ones on the map right now. There we go. Number 548. Oh, that's a one. Gosh, which herd is it in, though? Ugh, I hate not knowing. Um, herd management, Elon. It's the exact same thing that I'm doing. Myself and I, I use the same method. I think that one... Gosh, what zone... It, oh man, I hate this. I hate the fact that another zone showed up here because now it's so difficult to uh, figure out what is in each herd. I think that two is one we need to leave. Gosh, I don't know. The two and then the one for sure. Gosh, why did we have to shoot that doe and ruin this zone? I mean, it's not ruined. It's nice that there's more deer there. It's just until we get the one in the uh, herd with three bucks and one does, until we get one of them to turn to a one, it's just going to be so difficult to figure out uh, what we need to leave and what we need to kill. Crazy how, mad, how much that threw us for a loop. Seven mil or six point five? Ah, it really depends on the uh, circumstance. Like, what are you using it for? Nice, can't happy early birthday, dude. Oh, geez, Blitz. That's not good, man. I've got something similar on uh, one of my fingers, like at the uh, the base of my finger on my left hand. I've got like a little bit of a bump. I think it's probably, there's a pretty good chance it might be arthritis because uh, my mom has always had issues with arthritis. Same with my dad and like pretty much everybody in their families. So would not surprise me if that's what it is considering my hands are always on like a keyboard and mouse most of the day because I do content, right? 
So I got a feeling that I might be getting arthritis already. Either that or it is a cyst. Oh, got you, Blitz. Yeah, mine feels like it's part of the bone. So I think I think for me it's got to be arthritis. Either that or I just like accidentally popped my finger out a little bit, which I guess that could be possible, but I feel like I would have noticed that. I think it's got to be arthritis. Crow getting old, I know, right? Well, you can get arthritis at any age. All depending on your genetics, right? I only shoot level 1s if they pop up in my favorite zones, Landon. That's the only time. Oh, it did, Andrew? That's crazy. <laughs> you think he would have learned after the first one? BB Shots, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? You'd think he would have learned after the first one. Holy, got them all. What am I thinking of doing for my next great one? I don't know, to be honest. I don't really ever decide until when it actually spawns. Yeah, I'll see, kid, an Australia map would be awesome. It would be pretty cool. Uh, we've already done an air rifle, Elon. I took my second great one ever with an air rifle. Uh, yeah, Lunar, I will. The new, uh, the new muzzleloader will be something I use at some point. Probably on our first moose or maybe second moose. I, I kind of want to use the bow for our first moose. But we'll see. Like I said, I don't usually decide until it's like in the moment. What do I want the next great one to be in the game? I would say blacktail deer, possibly mule deer, fallow, one of the elk. Any of those would be amazing. Um, yeah, chilled. If you get a zone with all does, just leave it. Because when you think about it, that's just one place that you never have to look again. And so I would say if you get a doe zone, just leave it. Uh, no, the drop tine rack is my second favorite, uh, Axton. My favorite is the typical rack. Sadly, I've never got one of them. <laughs> that poor thing. He just got brutally butchered. Sika or Fallow, great one. That would be cool, man. Sika deer would be cool. Ah, uh, nah, Chris. We've already done one. No need for me to do another. Um, whenever they drop the update, Austin. So, we're gonna start grinding moose tomorrow. Uh, Justin, thank you for the super chat. What's my opinion on a small game great one? I don't know. I think if they did a small game great one, they would have to make it spawn a little bit more often because small game animals are very difficult to hunt. So I feel like they would have to give it a different spawn rate than normal great ones in order to make it, make it something that people actually like hunting for. 
Like, if they did a red fox, there is not a lot of red fox on the map. On pretty much any map. And they're always very spread out, so I think they would have to make them spawn slightly more often. Not a lot, but enough to make it so it gets gets you the same results, roughly. Takes about the same time as grinding something like Whitetail or Black Bear or Red Deer. They would have to compensate for the small amount of predators that are on the game if they did like a fox. Same with if they did like a raccoon or something. I think they would definitely have to make some adjustments to make it work. How do you get a great one? Deer? Just shooting deer, big deer hunter. If you're after a white tail, just shoot white tail bucks. If you're after a red deer, just shoot red deer stags. Not gonna lie, I did not realize this was a diamond potential. Let's main menu and try to get it back here. Should you shoot your diamonds now or after the update? Well, the update's not going to reset any deer, so I'd say you could wait if you want to. I'd say whether you wait or don't wait, it's totally up to you, man. Oh, I am terrible with these scrub hair, Justin. I've never been good at hunting them. Unfortunately, I don't have many tips for scrub hair. To be honest, I've barely seen any since they, uh, the rework to Verhonga. Welcome back, uh, Cucumber. Welcome back. Yeah, me too, Ben. I've, like, barely seen any of them. Alright, guys. I think we're gonna take a quick little break. Gotta go, uh, stretch a little bit. Get a little bit of exercise since we've been sitting down all day. Got to get the blood flowing. Got to get some more water. Stuff like that. If you guys need to get anything, be sure to do it. We will be uh, back later. We'll go to the break screen.
Hello guys, I'm back. Let's uh get back to smoking the white tail. Should have got him. What's my favorite brand of car? Ah, I don't really have a favorite. To be honest, there's a lot of things I really don't have a favorite for. Oh, we already did a great one with the 10 millimeter, Andrew. I'm trying to only use guns that I haven't used before. For the most part. I try to keep it different every time. Oh, he did, Ben. Did I miss it? Justin, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Just ate the most Irish fast food and now I feel nice seven. Nice. That's awesome. That is super awesome. I don't think I've ever had like Irish fast food. That sounds really good. That sounds pretty fire. Not gonna lie. How old is my daughter? Uh, she's one and a half years old. That's a nice three. Hey now, stop, stop moving that way. Right, perfect, got him. Two fifty eight, that is a diamond white tail. Jeez, guys, we're about to hit uh five hundred and fifty white tail diamonds. That's crazy. Eighty point one? Yes, we are. We are at eighty point one. We might be close to eighty point two, actually. Let me check. We're currently at eighty thousand one hundred and ninety-three. We're seven off of eighty thousand two hundred. Holy, crazy! Absolutely crazy. Uh, no, Destiny. They are the same uh, universally. So if you open multiplayer, it's going to be your same map that you have in single player. However, if you join somebody in multiplayer, it's going to be their map. Are you talking about the uh, new muzzle loader, Mason? If you're talking about the new one, we do plan to take a great one with the new muzzle loader. Excited for the new DLC? Me too, DBZ, me too. I'm super excited for this next update. What well, maps are all being reset tomorrow? Uh, no maps are being reset, just certain species. So moose will get reset, mouflon will, and mountain lions as well. Uh, yeah, Verhonga is going to be getting the Eurasian Widgeon.
Wicked, you gotta chill, man. There is hundreds of people in here. I can't respond to every single message that comes through. Look at it this way. The messages on screen are changing every minute. I only have enough time to pick out probably three out of 20 messages for each minute, right? It's natural that a lot of messages are gonna get missed. That's just part of it, man. Always blows my mind that some people don't take that into account. Messages, I know, I almost said messages. Uh, no, Sarah. We're gonna be going for a couple more hours, but that's about it. Yeah, only 432, you know. Only 432. <laughs> that's it. Just a couple people. Uh, check the timer, uh, Jackson. That is the countdown to the release. And that goes for everybody. No matter where you live, no matter what your time zone is, that is how long it is until it releases. Where's this other one? No organs hit. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, Jake, it is. It is in the update. I just haven't been using it because it's kind of hard to get used to. Like, I'm so used to not having it that when I was doing early access, I didn't really use it too much. Because I just, uh, I, I, to be completely honest, forgot that it was a thing. I'm so used to having to manually place all of my waypoints. What new guns will there be? Uh, it's gonna be a brand new muzzle loader. That is going to be the only new gun. And it's a floater. So many floaters. Is it hard to get great ones? Uh, yeah, it can be. What gun am I using? 300 Magnum, Caden. Hey, Caleb, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, Dweezil. <laughs> Definitely, man. Hello there. That is diamond potential. How long did I grind for my great one red deer? My first one took 3,000 kills, second took 3,000, and then I had two in a row that took 6,000, so... There's been a lot of variety in kill counts. After I had the two 6,000 ones, I had, um... I had one that took around 800, and then one that took, like, 180, so I've had such a wide variety of kill counts with red deer. Uh, Dagan Kristen, thank you so much for upgrading your membership to Super Crow. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Picks where it didn't happen, Valerie. Hey, Diamond. Beautiful. 550 diamonds. Yeah, definitely, Jake. It is nice that they added, though. I know there's a lot of people that have wanted it. I think once I get used to it, I'll probably use it quite a bit. Yeah, number 550. We hit it. We hit 550. 
That's a big three. Very good looking level three. Oh my gosh, Dagon. Holy, upgraded to legendary crow. Jeez, that is insane. That is absolutely insane. Thank you so much, Dagon. Thank you so much. Hopefully I'm saying your name right as well. That is incredible. Thank you so much. Should shoot the next great one with the 22? Uh, maybe not. I mean, I buy has already done that. I don't want to copy, right? Two sixty-seven max weight. Beautiful. Uh, not really, Nick. That would be awesome, Jake. I'd love to see that. And make it so, like, uh, each of them is a different color. I think that would be good as well. Like, if they ever do a multiple waypoint system, having it so, like, each one was a different color or you could select the color, that would be huge. That would be really nice. All right, once again, they are kind of like separated, so I don't know which is from which herd. So we're not gonna shoot any of the twos. There's two level twos that are fence wrecks. We're not gonna shoot either of those. Gosh, I wish that we hadn't got a second herd here. It's making it so difficult to know like what I need to shoot. Uh, it's the timer until the map, uh, Pioneer. Oh, definitely, Alex. That'd be awesome. I'd love to see uh, loadouts. It would be pretty cool. Would definitely be an awesome change. Come on. Let me click. There we go. Will there be uh, camos? Yes. We are getting the skin system with this update. Dagan, thank you so much for the super chat as well. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, Silver Ridge is getting nothing. Uh, it's 99 cents a month to uh, be a member. At the lowest tier, it's just 99 cents. We tried to make it as affordable as possible. All right, DBZ, no worries, dude. Oh my gosh, guys. Holy. 
Justin and Dagan, thank you so much for the super chats and super sticker. Loadouts would be useful, played so long without a bag, I just feel super visible when I have to use one. May just be me, but I definitely find it more difficult. Loadout would solve that for me. Yeah, the backpacks actually do make things spook more. I avoid using them as well because of that. And yeah, loadouts would be phenomenal. Would love to see it. Oh, 274, holy. Another thicken. Another big one. Jeez. Thank you guys once again, though. Thank you, Dagon. Thank you, Justin. You guys are amazing. In prehistoric hunt, what should you tax? Um, any albinos or melanistics blitz, and then also... Um, I would tax one diamond of each. The regular diamonds are a little bit more common in prehistoric hunt than they are in Call of the Wild. If you get a diamond that is the, like, rare, you should definitely tax those as well. When it comes to prehistoric hunt, for me, it's just like tax a diamond of everything, right? Like, a diamond of each, each species, a diamond rare of each species, diamond melanistic, diamond um, albino, and then, of course, if you get a legendary ranking one, um, tax that as well. Because, I mean, you have a customizable trophy lodge in prehistoric hunt, so you can make it as big as you want. So you can definitely just tax a ton of stuff. I'd say tax one diamond of every variation of every dino. Will the new update do anything on Tiawaroa? Uh, yeah, it's adding mallards. Nothing there. Chandler, thank you so much for becoming a member. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy all of the perks that come with that, including uh, emotes and access to extra private Discord channels for members and access to a few extra videos on the channel. Thank you so much. Oh, and also, uh, Dagon, since you upgraded to Legendary Crow, um, Legendary Crow comes with a perk in it where you get to choose one video for me to make, so... What type of video would you like? Or if you don't want a video to be made, then that's fine as well. You know, you don't have to. It's just an option. Hey, these ones are being slow. Uh, yeah, I've got a few off of Rancho, Nathan. I think I've got three great ones off of Rancho, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, memberships are 99 cents at the lowest tier. I made them as affordable as YouTube would allow me to. Uh, Dagon, thank you so much for the super chat. Great one, Black Bear. Oh, we could definitely start up the grind for the Great One, Black Bear. That is, that's something I will be doing. Uh, you'll have to give me a little bit of time to make that though, because I do want to, I do want to finish our moose grinding first, but then after the moose grind is done, we will get back into the bear grind, and then I'll make a video for you, um, starting out the bear grind. Right. Essentially, I'll make the video and say that uh, it was requested by you. So that's, uh, that's how we'll end up doing that, but it might be a month or so before I get to it because of the moose grind. But I, I can promise you we will do it. I will have it wrote down and like on my desktop so that I can see it and I remember it. Because I got one or two other videos that I got to get to as well. But we will definitely get to that. And again, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Like for real. It means a lot. Got some wonky deer over there. Uh, 
Uh, no, Bison, we're not streaming till the update. Gosh, really you're getting blocked by your buddy. Oof, didn't save him though. Wow, didn't get vitals. Must have been low. How much is it for a legendary? Uh, legendary is 25, I believe. Gosh, I don't know which ones to shoot. I need them to separate more so that I can see which herd is which. Okay, this one is moving over here. Okay, this is what I needed to know. Okay, this is the two we need to shoot. This is the fence rack two that needs to go. That's the level one we're keeping. And then this herd right here has a fence rack two as well. Okay, perfect. We figured it out. Amazing. Ah, so so stressful trying to figure out which is which. Tucker, thank you for the super chat. What is your favorite animal to hunt and which gun? I love hunting the whitetail and the red deer. My favorite guns to use are the 308 and uh I'd say 6.5 as well. Uh, the $99 one is for basically you get to be featured in a video. Should try to liver shoot the next great one. That would be interesting, Reed. I don't know if I would be able to pull it off, though. I'm not super great at, like, guessing where the liver is. Big three. 270 minimum estimate. That's a thick boy. Gosh, yeah, that's a big one. Let's get him to move. Watch this. Got him. Two seventy six, maybe. We'll see. Oh, really, Blake, sir? At least you got another great one, right? Two seventy four again. That's our third two seventy four this stream. That is why I'm not really taxing the 274s anymore. We've been getting a lot of them. Yeah, that is totally understandable, Justin. That is totally understandable. The, the tough thing about that one as well, like the tough thing about the, um, the Master Crow rank and the, the like, uh, collaboration thing that comes with it, the only problem I run into is I've had a couple people do it in the past and then it turned out that they were on console so I wasn't able to do it so I'm thinking about removing that as one of the uh, Master Crow perks because it's really hard to work that type of stuff out because a lot of people that play Call of the Wild are not on PC and I can only play on PC. So I'm thinking about removing uh, that at some point. Dagan, thank you so much for the super chat again. What is my favorite type of a dog? I don't know. There's a few that I like. I mean, I've always thought that German Shepherds are pretty cool. My uh, sister has a couple German Shepherds and they are amazing. Super sweet dogs, super loyal. And amazing guard dogs as well.
All right, guys. If I uh, if I'm a little bit silent for a second, it's because I'm I'm eating some mozzarella sticks. Got to keep that energy going for the stream, you know. Got to re-energize. No, Johnny. Nothing yet. Sir? What are you doing? Ow. You kicked me. I don't know, Blitz. I got a couple, a couple like, uh... Funky sounding songs in the playlist. That's why I added this one to be honest, because it's kind of funky sounding. It's different than a lot of the music I have in here. Holy. The science segment? Yes. 100%. We will probably add some more music to the playlist soon as well. Might even make it so that we have like multiple. Oh, you want to know the song name? Let me find it real quick. It's called Hunting Grounds by OTE. Uh, maybe Wyatt. I think it'll be slightly more difficult, but it should be similar in quite a few different ways. Um, I don't know, Alex. I don't know. I mean, if you don't get New England, you can always play it in multiplayer. For those of you that didn't know, you can play every single map in multiplayer for free. The only requirement is that somebody in the session has to own the map. So, if one person owns the map, anybody else can join in. Even if they don't own it. That's a good diamond. That's probably a diamond as well. Wait, where did he go? Oh, he's right here. I'm gonna say, where did he end up? Yeah, me too, Wyatt. This is looking like it's going to be a good run. We already got two diamonds here, so... Or two diamond potentials. Could be a good run for sure. Uh, you just press R for the tree stand, Nick. Just press R. 272. Oh my gosh, the giants are just popping up like crazy. We're definitely uh, getting into a pretty good streak. Ah, uh, that one didn't make it. All of our big diamonds have been like super, super big.
Nice, Evan. Same here. I mean, Call of the Wild's got the big update. Uh, Tarkov should be getting an update soon, so I'm pretty excited about that. Been a while since I've got to enjoy a, a fresh wipe in Tarkov. Dude, what is this zone? Uh, Viper, thank you for the super chat. Day is trash, GF told me over the text we're done. Oh no, man. I'm sorry to hear that. That is the worst way to have it happen to. That's not fun, man. I am sorry to hear that. Hopefully, uh, hanging out in the stream can help you out a little bit, but... Yeah, that's, that's not fun. That is not fun at all, man. Thank you for the super chat uh, once again, though. Yeah, I've been there before, Viper. One of my uh, past relationships ended pretty much the same way. It's definitely not fun for it to happen over text. How many diamonds did you stack? Um, as many as you can get in your main zones, Chicago. It's all about just filling your main zones, pretty much. Getting buffering? No, that's unfortunate. I don't think it's me. I don't think the stream is dropping at all. Right, guys uh Dagan, thank you so much for the super chat dude really appreciate it how much longer am i gonna stream tonight uh what time is it it's like six o'clock so i'd say we'll probably go till at least seven maybe eight probably seven though so about an hour we'll go for about one more hour I don't know though, if we don't get anything like super good by then, I might go for a little bit longer. I desperately want to get um, another super rare before the update. I so badly want to get another albino or uh, melanistic super rare. I want to get one that actually has one of the bigger diamond racks instead of the small rack. I pretty much got all my super rares to be the small rack. Jeez, Evan, that's crazy. Why are you up so late watching a Scarecrow stream, man? I appreciate it, but holy. Uh, yeah, Abigail, I will be streaming the update tomorrow.
Uh, Micah, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Get them all also. Have you seen the new Kudu? There is no Kudu, unfortunately, man. That was not supposed to be on his list when he was reading it out. It seems like what happened was the real list and like a pre... Like an older list got mixed up. And so it's looking like maybe it was a possibility at one point and then they decided not to do it for one reason or another. But there is no Kudu coming to Verhonga. Sadly. Nice, Waylon, that's awesome. What new animal is on Yukon? It's going to be the Canadian Goose. Oh no, Will, that's not good. Sorry to hear that, man. Well, at least the update will still be here when you get done, right? Hey, Melissa, how's it going? Hey, LTW, didn't miss too much. We got a decent piebald. It was like 217. Uh, we've had quite a few big diamonds. No great ones, no super rares, no like uh, super large rares either. When am I streaming tomorrow? Probably 12 or 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So the normal uh, stream time for me. Oh yeah, I would love to see doll sheep on Yukon. I imagine they did it uh, with Canadian geese just to save time though. Because to be fair, I guess this update does have more content than we've ever seen in one update. So I imagine that making new species would have made it take longer. Who knows though, they could be working on new species, you never know. Uh, Chandler, thank you so much for the super chat, really appreciate it. Do you think you'll ever try to get a great one of each kind to spawn and then take them all out in the same stream? Maybe. I've thought about it. It's possible. Did SRP get a new animal? No, it did not. People complained about the black tail, so they didn't add anything. Uh, Dagon, thank you for the super chat again, dude. Really appreciate it. Absolute legend. All right, later, Parker. Thanks for watching. Omar, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, that's already becoming a thing, Omar. This next update is uh, 60 FPS for next gen. It is. They are making it 60 FPS for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X. So uh, they are, they're already doing that. In 8 hours and 40 minutes. Which is super awesome. Oh my gosh, dang it, dude. Another massive super chat. Thank you, dude. Thank you so much. I seriously don't know what to say at this point. You all have been like so insanely generous the last few days. Been overwhelming. Just absolutely insane, dude. Is Zevin still here? I think so. Possibly not, but I think so. Was the update? A ton of amazing things, Jackson. Definitely recommend checking out the uh, last few videos I posted. It covers a lot of the stuff. There's a lot of cool things like uh, weapons, skins, uh, 
that are customizable. We're also getting a bunch of um, a bunch of backfilling on old reserves. They're gonna get new species, and then we're getting a brand new map. Pretty stacked and packed update. Evan, thank you for the super chat as well, man. Don't get to catch streams as much because of college, but love your content. Keep it up. Thank you, dude. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Glad that you enjoy the content. There we go. We waited patiently and we got him down. What's the weather like in Oregon? Uh, it's super cold right now. Very cold outside. Pretty cloudy. A little bit of rain here and there. Couple diamond potentials there. That herd is ridiculous. I can't believe a new herd moved there. Uh, we killed the great ones a few days ago, Creeper. They've been dead for a few days. We got a new one to spawn last li last night though, and we killed it uh, on site. It's snowing in Utah. Jeez. You know, man, Utah is crazy with the weather sometimes. I've been to Utah quite a few times because uh, that's where my wife lived before we got married or before we got together. So I've been over there a few times visiting her family and stuff and we went over there during one of the like uh, snowstorms last year. It was, uh, it's pretty crazy how icy those roads get. Like you wouldn't expect a, a place that's largely desert to have such crazy snow, but that's just how those deserts are. Two diamonds. Micah, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. What species will actually be changed? Are you talking about like uh, reworks to the animal themselves? Uh, moose are getting reworked. What else is? Let's see. Uh, Whitetail are getting some changes to the way their faces look. And Fox are getting remodeled. The Red Fox are. Next run, great one? Maybe. Maybe. We'll have to see. Hey, T2. How's it going, dude? Welcome. Glad you could make it, man. Do I hunt IRL? Um, yeah, Luke, I haven't in about six years, but I do hunt IRL. Sadly, been a while since I've been able to, though. Uh, not sure, Blake. Thank you for the super chat, though. I'm not sure how big it's going to be. It should be... I mean, typically Xbox, it's a full game reinstall, basically, because they have to replace every file for Xbox. It has something to do with the way games are installed and updated on Xbox. It requires a full, um, practically a full game install size of update. With Call of the Wild, at least. It has something to do with the way they had to make it on console, I guess. So it'll probably be a pretty big update. Thank you once again, though, for the support. Yeah, T2, unfortunately, Xbox gets some pretty, uh, pretty big patches. From what I understand, typically, it's like 
above 50 gigabytes because they have to replace every single file. I don't know why it's like that on Xbox in particular, but Xbox has always had so many, um, so many more challenges when it comes to updates than any other console and any other system in general. Uh, because it's not released yet, Brayden. I'm not doing it in early access anymore. I wanted to try and get another uh, Great One Whitetail before the update dropped, and we ended up getting one last night, and I was thinking, why not continue? Might as well try to get another before the update hits in eight and a half hours. It is a fun game, uh, Jackson. It's a really fun game. The awesome thing about Call of the Wild as well is you can play it in like any way and have fun with it. You can grind super hard for the best trophies. You can just walk around and hunt whatever you see. You can honestly hunt any way and enjoy it. That's one of my favorite things about Call of the Wild. What if they add suppressors to the Hunter Call of the Wild? Would I use them? Oh, definitely, man. I would use them 100%. I think it's very possible now that they have increased the spook range. Animals spook from further away from gunshots than they used to. So every time you fire your rifle in the new update, everything within like 300 meters is going to run. And so this would be a great opportunity to introduce suppressors. That way you could reduce the spook range back to the old normal. I'm wondering if it is like a attempt to add something like that. Like maybe it's a balancing thing they had to do before adding something along the lines of suppressors. I think that might be it. We'll have to see though. How far from the drink zones do I put my tents? Uh, between 180 and 200 meters. You typically don't need to be too much further away than that. Oh, no worries. Drawn, how's it going? Yeah, hopefully, Ben. I mean, like... Even us content creators didn't get to see the patch notes this time around. So, I have no idea what some of the, like, uh, little hidden things that they've added could be. I mean, we just recently found out about the increased, uh, spook distance just from playing the map. That's what I'm thinking, Chandler. I think it's got to have something to do with that. Because it would be the perfect opportunity to introduce suppressors now. I'd say if they're going to introduce suppressors, right, increasing the spook range to where they've got it with the next update is a good first step. And I hope if they ever do add suppressors, they make them heavy. Like, maybe make it take two to three units in your inventory to make it so you have to choose between carrying more stuff or having a suppressor they'd have to find ways to balance it so that not everybody uses it right because if they just added suppressors and it decreased the spook range and like i also think they should decrease uh, hunting pressure by like half if they did that and didn't make it like heavy everybody would be using it and you wouldn't ever see anybody not use it so i do think they would have to balance it by making it heavy so you can't carry as many guns with you if you're using a suppressor. Either that or maybe they could make it so the suppressors do not decrease the spook range. But instead just decrease hunting pressure. That way you don't have to use it if you don't want to. But if you want to use it you can uh... Decrease your hunting pressure a little bit. I think that might be a good compromise as well. That's a big three. Because one of the biggest concerns that I've seen from people is that if they did add suppressors, it would be the only thing people ever use and that nobody would ever hunt without them. 
and that they would just become too OP. So I really do think that they would have to balance it in a way that makes it so not everybody uses it all the time. There would have to be uh, benefits and drawbacks, right? Ah, uh, gosh, Fence Rack 2's again. I don't know what we're gonna do with this zone. Not gonna lie, kind of thinking about deleting one of the herds that's in there. Because it's getting kind of annoying to try and keep track of everything there. Woo! 272, another 270 plus. Smoking those 270 plus ones today. As many as you can possibly get, Ben. How do you have 2,000 diamonds and I only have 5 diamonds? It's mainly experience, Waylon. I've spent 4,600 hours playing the game. And I was constantly trying to find ways to get more diamonds faster. Not to mention herd management has greatly increased the amount of diamonds I've got. So it's a mix of just playing the game a ton and experience. How many more kills do you think until the next great one? I don't know, T2. Probably a few hundred at least. I hope sooner, though. Uh, yeah, I believe Gray Fox drink time starts at 17, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Justin, thank you for another super chat. Really appreciate it. Getting late for me, I'm out of chat, but still here. Pro chat, everyone else have a good night slash day. Thank you, dude. Really appreciate it, Justin. As always, man. Have a good evening. Have a great evening, man. What is herd management? It's exactly what we're doing right now, Ty. You may notice how throughout this stream we've only been shooting the twos and threes. And we've only been using like 11 different zones. That is because we've essentially turned the entire rest of our map to level 1s. And what turning your map to level 1s does is it will force the rest of them to turn into 3s much more often. So the way that we've got it right now, about 70% of my whitetail bucks are level 1s. Pretty much every single zone along this river, like you see all these drink zones, all of these are level 1 whitetail and does. There's only a couple level 2s in these. And all of my level 2s are in my main zones. And so whenever I hunt them, since there's only, you know, like 30% of my population that is level 2s and 3s, they much more commonly become diamonds in an attempt for the game to try and make up for the fact that there's so many level 1s. It's essentially the game trying to balance out the average score of your uh, reserve. Hey, Levi, how's it going? Stream's been pretty good, man. Stream has been pretty good so far. We got a 217 piebald as well as quite a few 270 plus whitetail. I think we've had like three 274s today. Pretty crazy. Nice, Dagon. That's awesome. I love the red deer grind. It's a fun one. Hey, Clay Drew, welcome back, man. What rack is that? Okay, it's a big two. Thought so. Favorite animal to hunt? I like both the red deer and the white tail quite a bit.
You got a diamond whitetail today? Nice, Landon. Nice, dude. Uh, yes, Kyle, they do. Just got a nine legendary diamond red deer maybe 10 minutes ago. Nice, man. That's awesome. That is awesome. Congratulations. Am I on Rev on Thule? No, we're on Leighton Lakes. Am I going to resume the Black Bear grind? Uh, once we get a few moose, I will. I want to get a couple great one moose and then we will go back to the Black Bear grind. You have an alarm for the update? Nice, goat. Nice. Uh, no, Bent. I'm not going to stream till the update. We'll go for another, like, 30 minutes. But we're not going to go clear till the update. Because I've got some other stuff that I need to do before then. Yeah, same, Necron. I think that would be a good way to do it. Wonky three. That's a real wonky three. That guy for sure has no chance of making diamond. <laughs> what a wonky dude. Multiplayer hopping tips? Uh, multiplayer hop on maps that you're very familiar with. Go to the hot spots. And uh, if you don't find anything, then I typically would leave. I also recommend if you're doing multiplayer hopping, try to look for low level servers. They're less likely to be searched fully. 240. Oh gosh. A 240 scoring troll. Jeez, we've had worse though. All oh, the wonk for sure. Jeez. We have had um We've had that 240, we've had a 239, we've had a 234, and then we've also had a 228 troll. We've had a lot of uh, crazy trolls throughout this grind. A lot of absurdly small level 3 whitetail. We've also had a lot of giants too, so it, e it evens out. I see Lucky. Howdy Lucky, how you doing buddy? Thank you, Caitlin. I was about to say that's like the third time this stream that they've been purposely disregarding the rules. So yeah, just do what you need to. How do you do herd management with Black Bear? Um, for Black Bear, I just shot fives and above. And left level fours and below. And it worked out pretty good. I think that's a dead deer. I think we forgot to claim it. Oh, it was Ben. Well, thank you, Ben. Thank you, Ben. Really appreciate it. Sorry, I am like, uh... Little bit tired, so... Apologies. Oh, definitely, Lunar. I think it'll be cool. Feels bad, Drawn. No, 
Nice, Joshua, that's awesome. Uh, we just got one great one last night. I wish we had got two. That would have been crazy. Uh, no you didn't call the wild. It's not released yet. You gotta stop lying, man. The Cropo are gonna get you. Nobody likes a liar. New England map will be great because it's where you live. Nice, Lurum. That's awesome. That is super awesome. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. It looks like it's going to be a pretty fun map to play. Uh, Madman, thank you for the super chat. Just shot a 228 albino whitetail. Love the vids. Nice, dude. That's awesome. And thank you. I'm glad that you enjoy them. Gosh, man, these fence rack twos just popping up out of nowhere is so strange. Where do they come from? Like this entire herd that showed up here, where did it come from? It's unfortunate because now like half of that zone keeps turning into fence rack twos and I don't know which one is the one we're supposed to leave and which one isn't. Ugh. If only we hadn't shot that doe. That doe ruined everything with that zone. Oh my gosh. There's a diamond. Honestly, what we're going to have to do is try and separate the herds again. We're going to have to get those two herds to move. Oh yeah, true Blitz. I could just remember the score estimate. That is true. In fact, let's try to do that, to be honest. Let's just main menu. We'll try to get them back there. I just need the two herds to separate from each other so that I can figure out which is which. That's the biggest problem right now. I just thought of something. I wonder if I could make it so I only grind this like... I wonder if that's possible. We've got, let's see. We got usually four to five shootable bucks here. Two here, two here, one here. So that'd be, that's like 10 deer between these four zones. Sometimes a little more. I wonder if I could get it to a point where we only grind this lake and like maybe other, maybe like one other place like this one. I think it's possible, though, it'd be difficult. All right, later, Giga Spoon. Thank you for dropping by, dude. Good luck tomorrow with the moose. Uh, hunting pressure wouldn't be a problem with stands, uh, Grant. If I've got the tripods, it would not be an issue. All right. The fence racks actually might be in the same herd. Oh, gosh, I just need them to separate. I just need them to separate. 
But they, they keep like mixing the two herds. Which is not helping out one bit. Let's shoot all the ones that we can. Later, Colton. Uh, yeah, Ghost, it'll still be eight dollars. I believe all maps will always be the same price. Just got the game. Nice, Sawyer. Nice. Hope you enjoy it, man. It's a fun game. I uh, know, Jackson. It's all maps. You're not limited to just one map for customization. Bloaters, no. Oh, well. We just need, need to figure out what's going on with this uh, zone. Later, Call of the Wild. What's my favorite game? Um, Escape from Tarkov actually is my favorite game. Best way to get rares, just shoot lots of the species that you want to get a rare of until one spawns. There's really nothing else to it. Hmm, they're still not separating. I need them to separate. Oh, that's a big piebald. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Random piebald. Look at that. That's a beauty. Oh gosh, the fence rack twos are everywhere. What are we ever going to do? Uh, no, goat. I mean, it's all... You gotta, you gotta think. Multiplayer is all based off of people that have brought their servers up, so... If you're not able to join a server, that just means that there's none near you, I guess? 224. Beautiful little piebald. Super wonky as always, though. I always get super wonky piebalds and then super even looking uh, melas and albinos. Awesome little pieball though. But unfortunately we're still figuring things out for this zone. At least we got that little piebald in the process though. Dude, we could totally just grind this zone, I mean, or this lake. Do you see how insane this is? We haven't left this lake and they're still respawning. Did I, like, get my map to a point where I can just hammer this, uh, this area alone? Oh, there's a lag spike? I didn't even see it on my end. Should have kept Lucky 2.0. Yeah, 
but I'm kind of trying to figure out what's going on with this zone. I can't just leave, uh, leave the ones that are in there. I gotta figure, uh, what's going on with this zone. It's being really weird. YouTube being YouTube? Yup. Sounds about right. Oh, that's unfortunate, Sarah. I'm glad that you're able to see the stream, though, but I hope you get better soon. Ah, oh, they're mixed up again. Big three. Big, big level three right there. Oh my gosh, that's a huge three. Holy. That level three is huge. I hope this one's 275. Please be 275 at least. Uh, no, Henry. Before the update, the Great One Moose will not have been in the game yet, right? You gotta wait for the update and then the moose will be available. Ah, 273. That is big for this rack, but we actually have a bigger one with this rack, so... Not going to tax him, but he was so close to being tax worthy. Still a crazy white tail. Gotcha, drawn. Gotcha. Hopefully you get it. No, James, we're not going to be streaming till the update. Uh, if you want to, you can shoot any of them to get a rare Bridget. It really uh, doesn't matter. For rares, it's just about killing a lot of that animal until you get one to come back as a rare. Hey, Clades, you're welcome back again, again. How's it going? <laughs> no, I'm not going to delete the zone, Koi. I'm using tripod stands, so it's not going to be a problem. Biggest non-great one white tail. I have a 291 diamond from the old scoring on them. Unfortunately, they can't reach that score anymore. With the current uh, scoring for Whitetail, 275.53 is my best uh, diamond. Yeah, for sure, uh, Pioneer. It's 15 without deleting a zone from a tripod. Number 16 would delete it. However, something that a lot of people do not talk about, which I feel is a pretty significant thing, is the fact that when you have hunting pressure from a tripod, it disappears quicker as well. So not only do, do you get less hunting pressure, but it also disappears faster. Yeah, they're refusing to come back now. Yeah, Ethan, we did. We hit 80k uh, last night. Last night while I was sleeping. Okay, this might be just a single, a single herd this time. 
Please tell me it's just one of the herds. I don't know. We have a herd that's three bucks and one doe. And then we have one that's two does and three bucks, so... Gosh, what is from what? I'm going to assume... Ah, oh, it's just so hard to tell. Um, okay, we're gonna spot this guy. Remember that estimate, 131 to 172. I'm gonna see which drink zone highlights for him. There it is. Four. Oh, they all say four now. Uh-oh. Two. Okay, so that is, that's not the two that we have to leave alive. It's the other two. It's the other one. What was that one again? 170. 131 to 172, okay. That's the one we need to kill. Now it's just a matter of getting him back there. Come on, get back. Get back to the zone. Uh-oh. An error occurred with the output. Please check your streaming and recording settings. Oh, my replay buffer bugged out. So basically it wouldn't uh, do a replay. Why is my like uh is my drive full? It is. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, I need to... Okay, that video I already posted, I'll delete that. Okay, we should be good. No, it wasn't your PC, Necron. I ran out of space on my drive. I, I just needed to delete uh, footage of videos I already uploaded. Now the replay buffer should be working. Might have missed our last piebald because of that. That's why I was trying to save a replay because I couldn't remember if I uh, if I saved the replay of the piebald. Now I don't know if I did. One thirty one to one seventy two. That's him. We need to smoke that guy. Now let's remember this too right here. He's a one forty two to one eighty two. Who would have thought just trying to figure out which herd is which would be so stressful?
Uh, it'll be at the end of the timer uh, dynamic. So if that's 5 a.m. for you, then yes. Man, I think this could totally work. I think we could totally just grind one lake and have it work out now. If we're able to do that, that would actually be pretty insane. Oh, I forgot to grab that one. Later, Flame. Thanks for dropping by, dude. Yeah, it is a big estimate too. Probably a diamond. Hopefully. Nope. Bottom of the estimate. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Let's check the other lake real quickly. I want to see what has spawned there. Um, It will probably kill any diamonds we see, but I want to try and just grind that one lake for a bit. And just see how well it performs. That's a big three. Nice, Ron. That's awesome. That is awesome. How long am I going to stream for? Uh, not sure. I was supposed to already be done, but we're going a little bit longer than I expected. Because we're trying something out with our zones. We're trying something out to see how it works. Ooh, that's unfortunate, Sarah. I mean, at least it was still a, a giant level 3 albino, right? Even if it trolled, at least it was still a big one. Uh, yeah, Zane, they are. They made them common a couple updates ago. Thank you, Matthew. I appreciate that. Nothing there. Should probably reset. I'm not sure, Mega. There's so many things that it could be. I would recommend just checking all your zones, checking for new zones as well. Do your best to scour your map for possible new zones that may have popped up because there very well could be something big in those zones that's kind of holding things back. Um, I don't watch sports, uh, Pony Boy. I don't watch sports of any kind. Okay, nothing too huge here. All right, let's try it now. Let's try just grinding this lake. Uh, yeah, Dynamic, I'm going to be grinding on Medved, provided the wolves aren't too big of a nuisance.
I don't really get a chance to watch too many content creators in the Call of the Wild realm, Sarah. Most of the time after I've finished doing my own streams and videos, I'm kind of tired of Call of the Wild for the day, right? Like, as somebody who makes it, who makes content on Call of the Wild full time, it doesn't really leave much of a want to watch Call of the Wild content, you know? I did see it, but I haven't watched it actually get taken down. Oh, I guess we should probably main menu. I just realized we've still got, um... We still have spotting icons on the map, which means that we have shot something here without resetting, so... I think at least I'm starting to get a uh, little bit tired, so I may be tripping there. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to work. I want it to work, but... Couple of them there. That's the one we have to leave. Uh, no, Landon, I'm not. I don't think I could do that. That'd be too much streaming, because I plan to um, spend a little bit of time unlocking the map the second it opens. And then I'm going to start... Uh, Multiplayer hopping for a video in the morning, and then I'm going to grind moose on Medved, so... Not going to stream until the update. I don't have the, uh... I, I just don't have the ability to do that right now. As much as I'd like to. What time is the update dropping? Uh, at the end of that time or in the top left? Give or take a few minutes, obviously. Uh, no gunner, just specific species. Moose, mountain lion, and mouflon. Come on, can I please click it? There, there we go, finally. Gotta love it, Call of the Wild. Um, polls are... I believe only the person that owns the channel can do polls, Clay Drew. Two sixty-one, that's a diamond. Diamond number five sixty-one. That's crazy, we've had almost 30 diamonds today. Hey Link, it's going good. Oh, it's in the um, bottom left of the chat, uh, Clay Drew. Bottom left of the chat. There'll be like a little plus symbol. Is that one from the same zone as that guy? I think he is. It's so hard to tell, though. Crazy. Gosh, this uh, zone has been such a weird one.
Nice, Ryan. Nice. Three and two. Okay, so yeah, they were just mixed up. I need to wait for the respawn still. See, this is the one problem that we that we would run into a lot of the times when I would try doing one lake before. As nice as it would be, I don't think we're going to be able to just grind one lake. Because at that point, it's really hard to make the respawns consistent. Yeah, like those respawns aren't back. Neither are these or any of the ones here. So yeah, we can't do that. Unfortunately, we can't just grind one lake. Oh, it'd be so nice, but not going to work. Now we've got an extra one here, I think. Well, let's actually try it. So let's try something though. Let's try just doing this lake with it. Because I do want to remove a few lakes from my grind. I don't know which ones I should do though. There's a couple I would like to take out of the grind to make things faster. I got kind of an idea on what I want to do here. <gasps> there is a zone right here that I kind of want to get rid of. I also kind of want to get rid of this zone. And then I'd love to introduce this zone into the grind. Because I feel like those would be very easy to grind quickly. Uh, no, crew. No great ones today. We got one last night, but we have not got one today. Ah, uh, maybe, Sarah. It depends. Welcome back, uh, Waylon. No worries, dude. Little level three there. This is the zone that I'd kind of like to introduce into the grind, by the way, guys. However, the more that I think about it, they will be spooking with the new update when I shoot this zone. So maybe I won't. I think I might just leave it how it is. Troll. Oh no, Elite. That's not good. Sorry to hear that, dude. I think it's totally possible for you to find another one. They're about the same rarity as any other diamond, right? I'm sorry to hear that, Walther. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Uh, no map is fully getting reset, Tucker. It's 
It's just specific species like mouflon, moose, mountain lion. Uh, no, Hunter M, they're not. I wish they were. It'd be pretty good if they were. Do I get any type of rush if I, when I spot a diamond? Um, yeah, even with herd management, I still do. Mainly when I spot the big ones or unique ones. But if it's a non-herd management species, like if it's one that I'm not managing, I get super excited still. Like, if I were to find a diamond lynx, I would freak out because I've never killed one. It's all about how common I find the diamond, right? The more I have of that, of that specific diamond, the less exciting it would be. But there's still a few diamonds that I don't have or don't have a lot of. See, I still get excited for some of my diamonds. Most of them, actually. It's just whitetail and red deer that I don't have as much excitement for because I've herd managed them so much. Um, I've got a few updates on the channel about it, uh, Steel. Got a few different videos covering the update. Should give you all the info you need. By Duck Hunt? Uh, not in real life, no. Maybe someday, though. You never know. Yes, yeah, Sarah, I mean, I was super excited. That was very exciting yesterday. Uh, spotting knowledge, Ben. It's in your skills. It's in the, um, what's it called? It's in the ambusher skills right here. Spotting knowledge. I'm going to say 2000, Jason. That's my guess. I think I'll get my first one at 2000. Yeah, definitely, Hunter. I was super excited, man. A brand new level one. Oh, no. A minigun? That'd be interesting. Alright guys, as much as I want to keep going, as much as I'd love to get another great one before the update, I don't think I'm going to be able to. I think I need to hop off. Starting to feel uh, weird from staring at a screen all day. I'm 24, uh, Dagon. I'm 24 years old. But anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all being here. We will be back with the stream tomorrow. Stream will probably start around, I would say, between 12 and 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So thank you all for being here, and uh, yeah, I will see you in tomorrow's video and tomorrow's stream. Peace.